and Anita Ellis. Say everybody. Okay. All right, so uh, we have some guests in the audience. Um, well, and most of them are, are regulars now. Uh, Ms. Fly, would you, would you like to introduce, if anybody would like to introduce themselves? I'm Rose Fly, just a library patron. Okay. Uh, I'm Ruth Dennell, and hopefully we'll be joining you soon. And then welcome to Mayor Isabel. And then our directors. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm Madeline Lindsay, just friends of the library. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, welcome, and thank you for our interest. So the first item we have is the approval of our meeting agenda. So do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? I have a question that okay. things need to be added to the I agenda. I did get your, I got your um, email. Yes. Um, we need to discuss the future of the system. These budget transfers cannot take place and so well, we discuss the or probably should not take place. I mean, at least the system um, needs to be on here, the fate of the system. Okay. Um, we also I did talk to Mr. Lawing, and he said at this point, all we, we could look at the transfers without any action. Now, that was his advice, or that's what he told me, that we could do it without looking at the system. Mm -hmm. But we can add that. Right. It's quite a long agenda right now, but we can add that as That's a fine. discussion. But we can do it without as well. So. Okay. Under new business, um, I'd like to have a complete list of all the holiday closing holiday. Closing we do holiday. have that in your. Okay, they might be there our now. managers I didn't see have. Them yes, they been, yeah. a couple of them have included that in their paperwork, so we can take a look at that okay, at good. that time. Good. And then, as far as. Um, emergency contact list mm -hmm. um, in light of what happened at um, Millersville. I mm -hmm. think we need to help the directors make sure they have a good co emergency contact list or know who to call, mm -hmm. even if it's people at the county. Right. Uh -huh. I think that that I'm sure that's going to be addressed among them for sure. Yeah. Yes. Good. You know, sometimes you don't know what you need until you need it. And uh, so I do think they've addressed that along the way. Good, so. good. Um, there's also some other issues that when April left, um, she had keys to every library. She turned them all in. We all got a key from her. Okay. And then who has the keys for the blue boxes? Those were supposed to be given to the representatives for mm -hmm. each li for each library. Um, did so I have the key to Gallatin. I have Portland's. Okay. So who has Hendersonville? And who has Millersville? And Millersville. I want to think Dan has Millersville. I'm not absolutely sure. 
but Dan may be the one that has Millersville. Uh, with Hendersonville, it might be Jane Wheatcraft or Shelley, but I believe it would be Jane. I think it's Jane. Yeah. I know she had it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She has not turned it in okay. to us. And then that leaves Westmoreland, and that Donna was the only representative from Westmoreland, so I would think it'd have to be Donna. And do you see her at all? I do. She's whatever. Okay. So we need so, to get those uh -huh. back so that there's not survey groups and all in there. Yeah. Uh huh. So, um, and then the, I don't know, but I also have that online. Yes. Yes. Uh, thing. Get those it. are all emailed to you if they're submitted online. If they're submitted, and I haven't gotten anything. So they're supposed to come to me. Okay, and so that's where they're, the online yes. uh -huh. survey responses are all coming to well, you. Well, I d now they went, they went to Ronnie. Yes, I got it fixed. And you got it fixed. Yes, so, and nothing's coming, nothing has come to me. So, okay. and the people that had keys were looking and they were emailing it to Ronnie, and so they would be then emailing it to Jackie. So, yeah, if they picked it up, they were. Yeah, as long as somebody is. To get it done. Somebody so. on the board is monitoring those boxes. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> Dave, now we will have to say, when I cleaned out the last one, when I <laughs> We found chewing gum wrappers, and we found, uh, yeah, and other things in there as well. Yeah, pictures and and you know, I didn't find any. Huh? Gallatin has never had one thing in the box, even though the the people that work at Gallatin say they'll leave me a little note every now and then. I check it every Saturday, and there hasn't been. Yes, because that's my volunteer day, and there's not been one comment nothing in there either no little pieces of paper and there's a big sign yeah. so i guess and now i have gotten a few uh, and they're most the kids will draw me pictures and say this is a great place to be so it's it's a feel-good experience for me right. because i get to see the the people that really appreciate it but that so i get we can you know we can find dan Dan's easy to find, Donna's easy to find, Jane's easy to find. Yeah, we'll so that. we can get those back. It's just one of those situations of remembering <laughs> to do it. Hello, Jane, how are you? And you forget to ask about something like a right. key. Right. So it's okay. kind of like that. Did you have a question? I, oh, go ahead. Are you no, I'm done. Okay. Um, so two things, um, and I don't know if this is the time to address it or after we start, but um, the old business of election of officers, uh -huh. of the secretary and treasurer, yes. um, my concern was that we move that to March because we have um, possibly two new people because I know Bruce Carter has resigned. and then I've not gotten a thing from him at all. Not a letter. Have you? Yes, he has for sure. Yes, I yes, sent him a t I sent him a text. He said, "I've got to call him to the mayor, county mayor." Never heard another word. Mm. So yeah, well, um, news to me. But thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you want to? Well, we can address it now, or we can address it later if you want to. What do you mean later on in this meeting? Yeah. Yeah. And oh, I'll, okay, as long um, as because we really need to get these filled. Yes, I agree. Okay. And all. So, but my my so I was going to suggest that um, we wait until March because we have possibly two new people coming on, and with us talking about bylaws as well, I think that would give more definition to what those responsibilities of those chairs are. Okay. Um, that may, but we could do. We could still get the secretary and the treasurer today. From an, we've got. If anybody wants to volunteer, I will take volunteers at this point, uh, because we need to get this moving and working mm -hmm. as well. And then I said, when I said address it later, at the end, I do have a unique situation we're going to have to. We can talk about or think about, and it's not a big deal, but uh, we can go ahead. And, well, we need to get the agenda approved first and then we can talk about that but I'd really like to leave it and try to get those two filled so they can start picking up their responsibilities and going there'll be other way and we've got committee vacancies there'll be other ways to serve um, 
which I, I completely understand, mm -hmm. but um, I'm just saying that one, we don't know because of the bylaws that are going to be discussed mm -hmm. and possibly updated. So we don't know what is going to come out to what are the secretary and treasurer's full um, responsibilities. And we have two new people coming on possibly in March. So it doesn't give them the ability to, one, have the possibility of being treasurer or secretary, and the person that is possibly dom nominated or takes those doesn't know, is not gonna know what are going to be the full responsibilities because we haven't finished the bylaws and the policies yet. So, I mean, I think that we can move forward with committees um, and looking at those without defining a treasurer and secretary at this moment right now. Um, because I don't, I mean, you guys have been working without a treasurer and secretary for a while. Well, we've had a treasurer. That was my mistake. We, Beth has been our treasurer, and Jane was our secretary until June. Until June? June, uh-huh. Okay, so you haven't had a treasurer or secretary since June? Mm -hmm. No, I was a secretary. I was a treasurer and, and until she I became, became the vice, vice chairperson. Chair. Okay. That's why the treasurer came available. Okay. Um, well, and what we can do is, I just don't think that one one more, or we could even do a special, um, you know, meeting in mm -hmm. February to decide the secretary and treasurer after we've created at least some definition or some draft of the bylaws. The only thing that I have to add with that is with the treasurer. The, the budget reports are going to be coming out, the worksheets, mm -hmm. and the treasurer and the budget committee are responsible for all library funds, and so we need to get those positions in place so that we can meet with David Loin, we can understand what's been going on this, this past year, and that we can start looking at, at where the money needs to go into the libraries. So that one, for sure, is Mm -hmm. a critical one so that that is in place and the work has been done prior to those worksheets coming out because the libraries do not have a lot of time to get those done. Mm -hmm. and, and, I can, and I can completely see your concern. I absolutely do. That's why I think if we get the budget committee in place at least because the person that is the treasurer is probably going to come out of the budget committee anyways. The you know treasurer is the chairman of the budget committee. Correct, I get that. And um, if the budget committee, you know, meets over the next, you know, uh, month or two until March, when they come in and we have more grasp on bylaws, then we can define the treasurer. And, and that because I mean honestly even the committees like I asked you what what's the definition of the committees because mm -hmm. that's not even in the bylaws so so honestly we're even the committees running are kind of be kind of like well we don't even know the the parameters of the committees so uh, I think that could be a Caitlin question uh, and she will be here at 340 she was supposed to be at 340 she's running late our re regional representative um, so I think we can wait and check with Caitlin on that okay. and all but I think the definition of secretary is fairly uniform across the board and treasurer as well you know you understand those positions and what they entail mm -hmm. and uh, it wouldn't be hard to pick up with a new definition if necessary Okay, and I'm just saying we have two new people coming in as well. I just think that those are two new people that are going to be here for at least another three years. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, just having them be able to vote as well, um, I think that would be just respectful to allow them to come on in and vote as well. 
Sometimes we've got stuff that's due before we would have a chance to name people on this budget committee that has to go before the commissioners before the end of the year, or we lose all of these funds. We're not talking about budget committee, we're talking about the treasurer. Right. So the, the budget committee will be decided today. So that, that's not going to interfere with anything that you're talking about. So, so your treasurer we could pick a different person and add that person to the budget committee I'm sorry. if we wanted Repeat that. we could pick a person today as treasurer and add them to the budget committee or we can pick somebody from you know that has volunteered to be on that committee and uh, as i said the other the new ones that are coming along will get a chance to serve mm -hmm. and we can add them to committees it may be that, you know, somebody says, I can't do this, or whatever, as far as secretary, they've tried it. But um, I think there will be, you know, they'll have opportunities. Mm -hmm. And we just, I think we need to move forward with getting those positions in place. Okay. So. One last thing, then, um, and this could be, what about if um, just a, uh, someone that could be a temporary, and then in March we solidify whether or not those seats are because also right now um, and the other thing to, to think about is that um, is that our vice chair um, unfortunately is going to be vacated and you're not going to be here in March mm -hmm. so we're going to need somebody to that's why that. if, if we're not here the secretary is the person that has to step up that's mm -hmm. the way it goes so that's why we really need a secretary. Or our other option is to change the date of the March meeting. Okay. So, you know, we could do one or the other. Okay. On something. That was our other option is to change. Now, I have already emailed all the dates that we're meeting this year to Ron Ramona, and she's posted those. Come in, Caitlin. <laughs> Come and join us. Okay. Um, and she's posted those so um you know we can discuss that at the other news come on right here Thanks. hey sorry guys and I'll, but so let's just leave it and let's get an agenda in place approved and then we can move on so do i have a motion to approve the agenda are you making the corrections that we talked about with adding the future of the library system? Are you talking? Are you adding that? Uh huh. I'm going to add it at the bottom. Okay. Under other new items. I motion to approve the agenda with the new added information. Okay. I'll second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Opposed? Okay. Um, we'll start. And now we'll need our approval of our minutes of the November 9th meeting. And I apologize when uh, Susie sends it to me and my computer converts it to pages and I forget to convert it back to a PDF. I'll try to remember to do that uh, next time. But sometimes Mac thinks it's smarter than I am and it may be. So, <laughs> <laughs> so do, does anybody have any uh, corrections that need to be made before we approve the minutes. The only question that I have is for Amy. Um, the correct spelling of your last name, I've seen it B I T and then B E T. It's C O R B I T T. Okay. So I think in the minutes somewhere, I can't find it right now, I think it was spelled with an E. C O R B I T T. And mine is consistently spelled wrong. Because they think it's like Wilbur the Pig in Charlotte's Lab, but it's not. <laughs> it's, it's with an eight. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I've and Ken high school sorry. diploma, it's spelled wrong. So we don't know technically if you ever graduated from high school or not. So you know, it's just one of those things that you just correct it and go on. So and I'll, any other corrections? Do I have a motion? motion to approve. Debbie approves and makes the motion. Beth Hill second. Thank you. Wait a minute. No. Oh, all opposed. All, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. 
Okay. Now we can just work our way down. And uh, I promise that the uh, Manitonians clean up. We try to be out of here by 524 was last last time. So we'll try to, to get, you know, not keep him too long today. Um, I do have a couple of things to, uh, I want to welcome Caitlin. Hi. She's representing the Red River region. We want to extend our sympathy to Cecilia. Her mother died, oh. and she is in Norway, Norway oh. uh, for her funeral. So um, she'll be back tomorrow, Friday. Friday. So, but we do, and Caitlin is. She comes with us, and uh, she comes with Cecilia a lot. Yeah. So she, um, she knows right where we are. But I did want to make you aware of that. So, um, we have had. <laughs> this is old news, but. We've had building issues with the frozen pipes. Uh, oh, Millersville, and I'm seeing pictures. I haven't made it to Millersville yet, and I apologize, but um, they had major, major damage, major water break, um, and had to call the fire department to help them. So that's why we said they now have a list of who to contact and that sort of thing. Uh, when something like that happens. Gabby had the same issues. They had a sprinkler system in Gallatin. It was in the back room. Thankfully, they couldn't have anybody in the building, had to do an hourly walkthrough, but they did everything they needed to do and had their, you know, and kept their people working. Amy sent me, I w I've got to say, they were fantastic as far as how they handled everything. Amy sent me a schedule of she sent her workers other places in the county to get their hours so that they didn't miss anything. And it was especially appreciated in Portland because they were getting ready for the 75th anniversary and the extra people were very appreciated there. So they, I mean, they were troopers and they were very professional in making sure that everybody was taken care of. So hats off to them, and thank you, Betsy. I can't say enough about, Betsy got up on Christmas morning, and uh, I called her at 9.15 in the yeah. morning, and I said, there's water everywhere. I don't know what to do, help. And 10 <laughs> minutes later, they, the berries were there, and they were, gosh, you were there for hours helping us get water out of the building, move furniture, move books, move rugs. She, her and her, her husband yeah. both. They, uh -huh. she, she got her husband brought her rain boots. My husband brought me my rain boots, and we were there. And my boots were frozen outside. And she just, they just worked. That's not how she wanted to spend her Christmas morning. But I just can't even. She was. I called her like. I called the managers. I called Mary Beth. I'm like, okay, this is this is what we're doing. And then we figured out who else we needed to call. But she was there. And, Mr. Isbell showed up and he was there on Christmas and mm -hmm. I got to make a lot of new friends there. <laughs> and the same things were going on in this building as well. So it's been everywhere at all. And, uh, but we now know what to do. <laughs> yes. A question. Um, was, was there an email sent out to the library board about that? After, as I sent the agenda out I did include that um, as a note yes okay. okay it was a days I mean I well she emailed me I didn't it was Christmas I didn't see sure. her email they now have my cell phone so you know mm -hmm. um, they can get in touch with me easier sometimes except da Gabby turned up my volume for me so mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah I did after after the fact, we you sure. know, but they handled it like pros. Sure. So we'll try to get that out. Just, but sometimes you know you're in the moment. Yeah. And you've got to do what you've got to do, and then yeah. think about it later. I just so. wanted to make a suggestion that maybe um, that they email the library board because to let us know what their needs are and everything, so that we could have, we know. could have, you know, we could have gotten an army. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So that's just, just an option for But they do. I haven't been able to get into some email yet. Yeah. Okay. I just haven't heard any responses from stuff I've sent, and I just, I know some people have 
I'd for a while, yeah, for a while I was sending yours and Diane's both to two yeah. emails to make sure one of them, you know, your personal yeah. email or whatever. And, that and I saw yours in the county mail, but I haven't seen anything mm -hmm. from you. Okay. Um, you. Make sure there's a dot in there. Do yeah, it's in email you. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because I got your invitation to the December event. Okay. Just double check in. Yes. You have yet. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, anything on our business? Okay. Um, we've already talked about it. I have sent the dates to Ramona. Okay. And uh, this is, I have signed some transfers uh, that were emergencies, and it was, it was travel to get the, people, get the bills paid for some of these transfers. And uh, they said I could do that as an emergency. Thing, and most of them have been travel vouchers or to pay for the travel along the way. Um, Anita might be able to help me because uh, they're sending them to Anita. I'm going by Portland, signing them, they're scanning them back. It's less than a thousand dollars, I'm sure. Yes, yeah. you probably know, less than 500, yeah. Probably yeah. so, just yeah. as a just to let you know, we have made a few transfers, but they have been those that. And when I talked to Ben before he left, and I uh, said, he said, it's, it's just to keep the bills paid, you know, so that's where we are on that. Okay, um, looking at the committees, <coughs> um, your personnel committee, I did hear from Ann. I thought she was going to be here today. Um, I seen that, but Ann and Beth, and Beverly Hyde and Joanna are personnel at this moment. We can, we will be, you know, we can make arrangements for that. But uh, budget, Diane, Mary Beth, Debbie Martin, and uh, Beth, I only have you on one. Okay. If you would like to pick up another one, let me know. Okay. And I'll think about it. Okay. But we will have other places to serve. The policies and bylaws, Beverly. Ann Whiteside, Betsy or Mary Beth, and Joanna. And then the facilities, Beth Key, Debbie Martin, and Diane. And then we do have some, and like these can go to five or six. I mean, if you wanted to do double duty or triple duty or, but you know, I'm trying not to overburden anyone. And I am a member of all of them, you know, um, but I'm a non-voting member. So um, I can be there, but if you put good people in place, sometimes you just get out of their way and let them go. So uh, we'll see about that. So where does Anita Ellis fit in these budget or in these committees? I haven't heard from her. Okay. So um, and I don't remember she was she, she was on she the was facilities. Facil yeah. She was with facilities. Yes. Yes. She was last year. Yeah. So. Yeah, I haven't heard from her, so like I say, we can wait and see. And then, like you say, Bruce uh, has officially now resigned, so we will be looking at replacing him. So, okay. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Uh, the policy committee to do is that the bylaws? Policy slash bylaws. Gotcha. That one and okay. the same. Good. But and that. That one, I guess, is going to be probably a little more difficult to schedule and all because you do have to work with the managers mm -hmm. as well. So that one is a little bit harder to schedule, but it can be done, you know. And once you get, and these are fair, these bylaws were approved in 21. So some of it is just a matter of wording depending on what the system does. So you can look through this and, and uh, look. And Cecilia and Caitlin are going to be a very good resource because they know within the parameters how it has to fit with the state and with Red River. And that's, I mean, they, they look at those parameters as well. Because Who else did you say was on the policy? Beverly, Ann, Betsy, and Joanna. Okay. So. And I will, I mean, I heard back from Ann by email, but I haven't heard, you know, and I assumed with, and I sent her everything, 
I kind of assumed that I will try to send out an email looking for, but I heard back from everybody. I thought, we have a quorum, so, you know, we can move on. But I will try to reach out to her again and say, I heard from you what committees you want to be on, but are you going to be here in March? That sort of thing. And see, she knows. Can I ask one more question? Yes, you can. <laughs> okay. Um, so we meet every other month. Uh huh. Is there some way we could, and maybe this is something for the bylaws, but set up a study session or something on the months that we don't meet, so that we would already have that in place, and we wouldn't have to worry to about sunshine and laws and all that, and then maybe the the committees could meet on those off months columns mm -hmm. can we call them study sessions whatever you want to call them and schedule them and then you could almost you know because some of them won't need any and some of them don't need it yeah we could we could do that all she's got to do is advertise it do we have to now you have to Sometimes you have to send them an agenda ahead of time because they've got to post that too. Um, but it doesn't have to be, and you may know better the rules than I do about when that has to be done. Um, you can get them to advertise the meeting first, and then the agenda doesn't have to be there until you know right before the meeting. That's my understanding. And I'll, yeah, okay. but you'll so it we can advertise a study session. But sometime before it happens, you've got to say which committee and send an agenda. Okay. So, and from that group, I'll entertain volunteers to take that want to be the chairman or what, since I can't, you know, that you'll have to get a chairman among you okay. and that sort of thing. Um, we could do that. Would you like to word that in a form of a motion that we would like to do study sessions? On our, or we could even say, you know, if we needed a special called meeting, we could do that. Mm -hmm. Call it a special called meeting or a study session. But anyway, you go. Word? Yeah, like Katie. Uh, I think, well, if you're going to do re recurring, you may want to stick with something a little more informal than special called meeting. But like study, study session. Usually it's special called meeting. If you're meeting in a abnormal what I'm trying frame. to do is get okay. an opening so that these committees could meet because yeah. we almost waste a month mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying yeah. Yeah. so and that time could we could, we we could be this, working on that could we have this can we have this room is this room <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can is call this, my office I'm sure it'll be available is it remote? It, it depends Chris. no uh, call Chris <laughs> Chris, oh, or we could use the Gallatin Library. We could use, yeah. I mean, we could or use it another site, another site. Yeah. just as long as it's advertised yeah. on the website. We can use a different site. Okay. So, All right, I'm going to make a motion. Okay. Okay. How am I going to say this <laughs> correctly? Um, <laughs> what did can you? Can I do a clear? Can I ask sure. a clarification sure. before we make a motion? Okay. So um, the committees that that we're creating already. Mm -hmm. Aren't they supposed to already meet? There's no scheduled the meeting. Okay, because so, that, so that, that's what has to be happening in the bylaws. Mm -hmm. Okay, because we really kind of need to put that in the bylaws. Because when I asked you, like, what do the, what do these committees do, and what are their responsibilities, and what are the parameters, and all that, so, and I'll, and it you know, yeah. so that that stuff that needs to be put in the bylaws. Uh -huh. But so, you're thinking your facilities committee doesn't have to meet, but. No. No, Once it, a year. it depends on no. what your but, that, yeah. but I it think that's something that the need. bylaws is going to have to this this committee of bylaws and policies is really going to have to work on. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna ask. So my clarification is, I guess, for you, Beverly. Okay. Um, because these committees already have to meet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is it that you're asking for in the off in the off month? Is that for the committees to meet? Because committees are supposed to already be meeting. So is this special meeting in the off month, is it as a study session for all the committees to come together and for all of the board to come together or what, what is what Actually is what I was after is <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the ability for us to be able to meet, like if I wanted to meet or my, our committee wanted to meet, 
that we could do that and we wouldn't have to worry about all of this announcement type thing. So if we had a time yeah. that we I could say any committee can meet at this time, can it be a called, study session, like, whatever. Like a discussion? Does it have to That's be why a I said, possible? Well, if you call it a study session, that's... Never. That that that, that, that covers, covers it. You can't just have yeah. a, a discussion. Mm -hmm. You can call it a time. Well, you, you can call, call it the discussion. Yes. yes. But yeah, I, yes. I'm I'm confused what why you think the committees have to meet all the time. Like the facility committee only has to meet when there's facility issues. I'm not saying they have to meet every time. Right. What I'm asking is how did the committees meet in the past? In the past, no, okay. In they, the past, I have no idea. Yeah. They okay. Passed. So when, needed, needed, when yeah. it was needed in the past, when say a board member left, the personnel committee would meet, okay. and they would meet, we met maybe a couple times in one month, because okay. we had to discuss, we had to put in the, out in the public that we were looking for a member gotcha. to add to the board in a specific area, or was it open? Then we would meet as a committee and discuss the applications, and then we'd meet as a committee and we'd interview the people. Did you have to advertise that? Yes. Yes. You had that's to advertise. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to get around. But yeah. when, yeah. It's, yeah. when it's something like that, when you're trying to fill a board position, you don't want to wait six months to fill that exactly. board position. Exactly, a library manager. So, you know, or a library things. manager things. So what we would have to meet several times in one month to fulfill that. When it's the budget committee, the budget committee would meet monthly because that's something they have to do. Facility committee met yeah. once or twice this last couple of years okay. because there weren't any reasons for them to do that. And we followed, yeah. and this is something that was encouraged by Cecile and by Caitlin, mm -hmm. the Tennessee Standards for Public Libraries, there is a section that deals with facilities, and that is not something that had been addressed before mm -hmm. by the library board, and so we followed the procedure through that. Okay. And mm -hmm. so there are all kinds of other issues right. out so there. So I, I think we, it's, I think when the, a certain committee needs to meet, that's when they decide to meet and they advertise that meeting through the sunshine mm -hmm. laws so that they meet. Yeah. And I can see where Beverly is thinking that it would be nice to be able, one, we have a lot of things that we always are discussing. Maybe if we could just have these discussion meetings where we're discussing things, we can make some have some uh, context and ideas so that when we come into these board meetings, we can go through the board meeting quickly mm -hmm. because we've already had these discussions. Right. That's, That's how I saw it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. That's what so I wanted to do. When right. it's a study right. session, you can't vote on anything. Right. right. And we wouldn't have to. We yeah. could just get some things so together and bring it to the call board. it a study session or a discussion, yeah. okay. you can't vote. Okay. So right. if your personnel right. committee meets, they can only discuss it if they've got to interview or talk or but recommend. But they can call another meeting. Yeah. They I'm can call another us meeting. An open right. time. Yeah, but okay. you still got to post it. You right. still no. have to post it. Okay, okay. Five, it's no five business days. I don't know any. Okay. Seventy-two hours. <laughs> huh? Seventy-two hours. Okay. Okay. And and with us, it only the, it just has to be. We don't have to buy advertising. In the newspaper, it okay. just can go on the website, and you have fulfilled the requirement. Okay, okay. So, so I agree I with that. I was just really. talking about. I was just talking about like I don't even know how the committee meetings right. meet. Yeah, and I it's was just trying to get clarification. Did you want committees, or do you want all the board members to come together and do a study? No, I was just talking about. You, I, it, you know, I was actually just talking about the uh, like if a committee n needed to meet and we'd have a certain time so it would be posted mm -hmm. and then we could discuss and mm -hmm. I knew we couldn't vote on anything yeah. but we could have some tangible notes and things to bring to the board mm -hmm. and then just lay that out for everybody there, to you know, even if you're not on the committee you can come to the part you know you right. can come to the table right yeah. and uh, you don't have to be on the committee yeah. to come yeah. to the discussion because I had we had talked the directors and everything we had just talked about having some time when they could just have an open forum mm -hmm. and discuss things because they don't really get a chance mm -hmm. so you could even if you wanted to do have a round table with everybody yeah. just talking mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but if we had that time at least it'd be announced. and you can put it on the schedule yeah mm -hmm. in February and April and all that and then if you do, if there's nothing needed, don't do it. 
you just call and say, and you can cancel it within an hour okay. almost. I think the, the deadline to cancel. Why don't we call is, it a round table, Beverly? That's my that. original that. idea okay. was just a round yeah. table with yeah. him. Yeah. So that. that's, that's, okay. that's, that's fine. So keep wording your motion. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> I make a motion that on the months, and y'all correct me if I'm saying this wrong, uh, the months that we don't have the regular meeting, with the exception of December, with the exception of December, we will have a specific time for a round table meeting, and that could include committees, um, time with the directors, or just the board coming together for a discussion time. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Okay. And I will second that motion. Okay. <laughs> All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. So I will email Chris okay. now that he said don't email Ramona and see if we can get, or do you want to get this building? Do you want to go out? Really, we can meet, you know, in do you? Some of the we'd love to have you come visit. Yeah. Uh, so on the off months, yeah. it would, I mean, yeah. this is kind of a, right now we've gotten used to this being a given. We yeah. used to do this all the time. Every month it was yeah. at a day, and it was wonderful. Because you got to see, and they fed you. <laughs> Let me tell you, they fed you. So we're, we're not expecting that. But no, we're not expecting that. We got no money right now. <laughs> but they used to, you know, they used to feed us when we come. So and when it was we opening, and, and the whole staff would welcome you in, and it was, and to know that your library was on display for the month was fantastic. So we'd just post uh, February. The, February and, and I'll look at the day so you have five months yeah. and there's April. five libraries so let the directors maybe the directors can decide which Jeez. one we can start yeah. in February the only problem we, we have two libraries that really can't host that many people right. okay. Yeah. okay I mean I could potentially but yeah. maybe yeah. <laughs> I don't know the only thing the only thing, thing Jackie that and I'm not sure if you said it and I apologize is that I think on those off months when the committees meet if there's a need then the next if there month, is a need. if there is a need, mm -hmm. and then at the next board meeting, it would just kind of be listed on here. Report from the yeah. from mm -hmm. the facilities and, and you report could, and from you, the discussion from all the yeah. different yeah. committees, and it could be no report. I mean, yeah. Yeah. We have meet, but I think right. it does right. need to be on the agenda that June, those August. committees do give a report okay. if there okay. is okay. one to be given. June. So on the off on the off month meetings. Um, I think it would be good for us to take minutes, and then we have minutes at the board. Yeah. Meeting. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I'm like, just like with the school board, you have minutes from the study session, mm -hmm. and then right. That's yeah. It. And as you said, if there's nothing to discuss that month, you can then just email yeah. and say, go on the website and just cancel it. I don't see that but, happening. And I'm um, probably not. Um, and if you want, and just that way, I will email Chris. And then if you don't, and we may know, you know, we, we know in February we're going to want to meet. You yeah. Know. Yeah. Um, we got a lot to do. By June, we may say, you know, we've talked this to Dad. Mm -hmm. We we need to summer, but we need the summer off. You know, or, or one of the months in the summer off. I can just email and say cancel it. Keep it. But what dates are we going to choose? Each committee needs to come up with their own. Well, I would just day think week. if you could make it easy, but the second week, just the set, like if we were meeting every thinking. month, just make it that second Wednesday. Yes, yeah. ma'am. If we want to have it at libraries, it can only be, we need to be going on a Tuesday or Wednesday because that's the only day that all five of us are open. And I'm going to request, I'm, I have to talk to my, my, my friends. Please, Lord, don't make us do anything during June or July. Um, summer oh, summer reading. That's true. We have thousands of people coming in. And That's we true. Be, summer well, reading. We could be bigger. So it, we could skip June and December yeah. if you want to take June out. Okay. June and December. Thank you. Yeah. Really quickly. Uh -huh. In these roundtables, um, although... Um, I think that um, definitely the directors are welcome. However, 
is it mandatory for the directors? No. Or is this uh-huh. more of a thing? So I, I guess what I'm going to ask is that we not take June and December out yet until we decide because we have a whole lot of stuff that we're trying to get through and come May we decided we're going to do June and come November we decided we're going to do December just stay away from the libraries in June stay away from the libraries stay away from libraries we're going to be here but because just because we have so much to do I I don't want to just say oh I'm not going to do June I would be willing to add June back December is just not great ever you know, I think the committee can decide that. And no, uh, whoever the committee but I'm is thinking, needs to me. Well, well, the committee is talking about the committee. Yeah, the yeah. I appreciate the, the fact that you don't require us to be at the meetings. My only concern would be, right, is that um, if you're discussing topics um, that have like impact impact operations, I think it's a good to get a perspective of the folks that are running the libraries. Um, so that, because I feel like there's been some misunderstandings up to this point uh, on multiple sites about the libraries and what is needed for them. So it'd be nice to have that input. That's all. And th- these and discussion the tables, roundtables, there's yeah. no voting going on. Correct. So but don't you want actual up-to-date information from the people who are in the building when you're making policies? You're not there. Well, that you all have to be involved. I was going right. to say on the policy. You all have yeah. to be involved. Be this is, okay, this I is just want to clarify. Yes. This is not committee meetings. We're right. not talking about committee meetings. These are roundtables that are just discussions of things that may come up over that month, or maybe that we talked about at at the library board meeting, and we want to discuss more and. If you're not going to be there, we could say, hey, we're going to be discussing these. Do you have any notes that you can send to us? But nothing is going to be decided in these roundtable discussions. Mm -hmm. Well, and if we're going to have, like, if we want to, what Alan's talking about, like a policy committee meeting, personnel, it, whatever, then it, then it needs to be, to be a, I mean, specific. Yeah, it, right. yeah. that so, will almost have right. to be changed right. from your roundtable discussion. Right. You'll have right. to change it right. to yes. a meeting. And I meant, I should have said that. Because and you'll yes. have to advertise it and right. submit an agenda. Right. Okay. However, I don't think it's a bad idea, even on your roundtable, to submit something. Yeah. As should. an agenda? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, absolutely. I think so, too. Absolutely. So, I think um, it would be required actually because yeah. even if you're not, and I understand the Spanish point that there's no voting actually occurring, mm-hmm. but it is an information Good. meeting that will impact your voting at the next meeting. So, I think from the public's point of view, right, like because you could walk away from a roundtable discussion and go, oh, I didn't know that. Now I'm going to possibly vote a certain way. And so, I think from a public point of view, they would want to know that that had a part in the next meeting that, that your mindset came from a, a discussion or a workshop that was held on an off month. And so I think we would want folks in the agenda. And once again, I would say you would want a uh, director there because you might get information that you might not have had without them there. That, that's my only thing. But I totally respect the fact that you're saying we don't have to be there, and I really appreciate that as well. So thank you. Okay, so as we start this for February, and I think I can, we can delegate, like, go ahead and send me what you want to talk about, and I'll have it posted. Okay. And I'll, okay. but then as we, ch- as we evolve, you know, the personnel committee may want to submit that agenda. Mm-hmm. It just, but I guess, let me know the changes so we can get it in the, on the website, you know, and that sort of thing. And then, or send it to me along the way, and we'll see how. And if, keep in mind too, if you do decide that you want to meet, you know, before board meeting as a committee and talk through things, yeah, you or on another on. day, or on the month that you guys do meet as a group, that's fine too. You can meet whenever as a group, but you just you do have to make sure it follows sunshine. But yeah, you can move it around as you need. Yeah. So, date wise better for them for Tuesday or Wednesday do we want to keep it on every the second Wednesday of every month so it makes it easy for everyone is 3 30 a good time okay no no whatever you okay Wednesdays are better my friends meet on Tuesday 
Oh, so okay, that's what we're very picking good. Wednesday. So it just makes it easier. Wednesday? Uh -huh. The second Wednesday of every month okay. at okay. 3.30. And that way, you know, when you go through your calendar, you just know the second Wednesday. Yeah. You know. Okay. And I added June back in, and I will request this room for June, but I'll, you all come up with, I'll, and I will just say, for the moment, either TBA or, you know, the libraries, and see what happens there. Okay. And go from there. And like I said, if nothing's coming along, then you say we won't have the round table discussion. Or if you decide policies won't set time, then you'll we'll have to change it to special call or study session. Okay. And then we some and we can submit an agenda, but this one would be one you'd have to follow. Okay. You know. Works. Okay. Have we got emotions that we can understand and <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, so and we already seconded it. Okay, yes. yeah. all, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, now <laughs> that's committees. Oh, business. Um, I, I would take volunteers for a secretary and a treasurer first. If not, we can, you know, do some more discussion on that. So. You were going to say something? Um, yeah, I was just going to, uh, it was about that, um, but I just want to confirm that the committees, though, they still need to meet outside of this round table. Mm -hmm. If, yes. If needed. Yes. If yeah. needed. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. You. Just, you can meet any time you want to. You just have to, to have notify. Yeah. Okay. And right now, the name I have is Chris. K-H-R-I-S. I just sent you all phone numbers and emails. H-R-I-S. K H R I S. Okay. So that's who we need to notify instead of the moment. So, okay. Whew. And you sent me. Okay. Good. And I will, I'll do that. It won't be tonight I'm going to church, but I'll try to do that tomorrow when it's still fresh on my mind. So. Okay. Um, back to secretary do i have somebody who wants to volunteer i'll volunteer for treasurer with my financial background and audit and compliance background okay. i'll volunteer for treasurer okay we'll vote on that in a minute i'd like to do and see if we can get them both at the same time can i beg somebody to take because it's taking notes here sometimes it's thank you notes i mean it's some kind some correspondence very little, you know, along the way. Uh, but we still we still have you, right? Yes, I'll, okay. I'll be here. Yes. Or not. <laughs> so, but you know, just the double set, just to make sure, or whatever. Um, and it's been to do the correspondence and, you know, touch base, and if I'm gone, you just have to step up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a vice chair? It's Beth for right now. Oh, right. So. Yeah. I'll, I'll hold over. Okay. okay. So, okay. Gotcha. Beth, Betsy, I like your smile. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many comments from the peanuts. Oh, okay. oh. Yes, uh, I will volunteer. So okay. Good. Do I need to put Mary Beth officially? Yes, okay. See, Betsy's so easy for me to remember because it's my sister's name. So I can, uh, it's B U R I? Yes. Okay. All right. Now, I will entertain a motion to accept these two people to take the offices of Secretary and Treasurer. We've got Mary Beth Bury, Bury mm -hmm. and Diane Johnson. So, um, do I have a motion? So moved. Okay, thank you. Do I have a second? A second. Okay, thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. We now have a secretary and a treasurer. So, now on the review of the bylaws, Joanna, it was your request. Do you want to take this page at a time now, or did you have questions about something we can look at, or do you want to wait until the committees meet? Oh yeah, I think that the committee should meet because I, there's 
too many things. We'll be here until 10 o'clock tonight. <laughs> so we could probably in February put this on the discussion roundtable, and that would help. And then you could decide when you wanted to meet. I think it would be good for the policies and bylaws committee to meet before that to do the draft. Yeah. And then we can talk about it in February and then finalize any changes between February and March. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you will. It's going to be a lot of work. Yeah. And yeah. I'll be glad. Like I say, I'm not on the committees, but mm -hmm. you know, I will try to be there. You know, if I can, I'd be glad to, and that sort of thing because. I guess I am pretty close to the oldest person here, and I do have a little history to bring to the table, so I'll be glad to, you know, help you along that way too. So, uh, just let us know, and we will. That one will have to be advertised. Yes. yes. Um, and like I say, y'all will have to. I do, but we have discovered a few topics that were not covered in the 2021 one. Right. Do you want to bring the old one? No, we don't have an old. The 2021 is the most recent. Right. But we have had, like, we have no social media policy. We have no. Um, and mine is a meeting policy. That we need y'all to add on there. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Can we send yes. the Absolutely. policy yeah. that you yeah. need to use? And just as a, because we've been trying to update, just trying to make them applicable to all of us, the region has the greatest examples from the widest variety of libraries, some that are nothing like us, some that are kind of, some, um, they're a great resource for examples, so you don't have to build yeah. whatever that thing is. Don't have to really work on it. That too. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby, speaking of that, does any of the directors have a full electronic copy of all of the policies? I do. You do? We do, yeah. I do somewhere. Yeah. Can yeah. you, can I, you send those? I think yes. we can email them. It might be too big for the county email. Okay. But if you um, might have to do two or three at a time. Oh yeah, in each section. Yeah, I'll get it out. Okay. Um, so is it okay if I just send it to all board members? That will be great. And I'll yes. make a list of the stuff we really need. Mm -hmm. I the policies have, we need added just because yes. it's a different age. Yeah. Right. Post COVID, we've learned a lot since then. Yes. Yeah. And see, that's a lot of we looked at we when Amy Eller and this was pre-COVID, looked at, as she worked really hard, we had it going, it was a We've been working, working on those policies oh, yeah. and bylaws since They're, they're a living document, ago. really, that just no. keeps going. Yeah. And then COVID happened, and then we met by phone, you know, did the, but we, we were not equipped to do the Zoom, we had to just do the phone conferences. Right. And finally, you know, it was like, you're not getting anything done. <clears throat> But neither was any nobody else was either. Yeah. So, uh, because we had a lot of things, and I still have a lot of you know raw documents that I can share, and I've got them. I've got them in notebooks. <laughs> I didn't. I, this was all I could carry today, but I do have them in notebooks and things where we can go back and look and see about this uh, along the way. So, set us a time. Check. Cecile will be back Friday. Cecile and, and one or the other or both, we can, uh, and they'll be glad to help us in any way they yeah. can. If you, well, if you're looking at stuff and you're realizing that you want to see kind of what someone else is doing or you're kind of in the weeds with something, we can send you examples of kind of similar sized or similar population. So it takes some, some thinking away from, you don't have to think so hard when someone's already done it. So. We have a lot we can send you for sure. Mm -hmm. you know. So okay. we've discussed the bylaws. We've reviewed them just a tiny bit, so we can check that box. And yeah. then whenever the committee decides, we can. And like I say, even when the committee, this is the board, even when the committee meets, it's advertised and it's open to the public. So yeah. we can all come if we want yeah. to. Yeah. And it's, you know, a learning experience along the way too. Absolutely. So, um, but and sometimes you almost have to do it in sections because it does, be, the animal becomes a beast. And uh, you may just, you might not want to tackle all of it at one time mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. So. You also, um, you can also, if you want, I mean, Cecilia and myself or just Cecilia, um, we, if you guys want to invite us for any, we're fine to do that if you'd like our input, but um, 
If not, that's totally fine too. But just okay. You're Heads just up. such a good resource, and, you know. You that's right, Jackie. Along the way, because I, I was thinking, <laughs> what was it? I asked you something, and I thought, oh, I know what it was. It, it's a good thing to address, and that was, we have not had an issue, but you never know. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when you first started talking about school shootings. We thought Sumner County, this will never happen to us. And they'll t and everybody that's ever said, it's not a question of if, it's a question yeah. of when. Yeah. So we haven't had the problem, but we need a policy or a bylaw or something to address allowing the yeah. public to speak at our meetings. Okay. Which, you know, I mean, we welcome it. This is America. You know, we want to, yeah. but we don't want it to get out of hand. And we can look, we can even look at uh, the commission's policy. We can look at the state, you know, we can look at other policies as far as that goes too. I remember that conversation now yeah. along yeah. the way. But that's something we haven't had to address because we, I mean, we've never had anybody get ugly with it. Right. And all. But somewhere along the line, it may happen. So, yeah. not if, when, yeah. you know. But yeah. I'm not thinking like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anything else before we go to new business? Okay, we'll move on to um, discussion of the budget transfers. Do we want to look at these if you, as you've looked at them? How do we want to go about approaching? I think the budget committee needs to meet first and review them. Um, the money that was left in the system account. Um, that money has not gone anywhere. It's no, still it's still it's there. Still there. Um, so you know when ink needs to be bought or something else that would have normally came out of the of the system account that can still happen. Um, so right now, I so would, what you're saying is you would like to leave the system account a system account. Is that what you're telling me? For right now. Okay. Now some of those. Um, just because the budget committee needs to to um, to look at what's been going on, what's been going on in these budgets, where the money was taken from the libraries when the system was created, um, we need to meet with David Loin in finance um, and and talk to him about some different issues, and then we can come back with a recommendation. When I was at the budget committee in December, um, the budget committee is expecting a report in February. So we've got time that we can look at those um, budget transfers. We can look at making some recommendations to the budget committee at the February budget committee meeting. Um, I also asked at that particular meeting if, while the system account was still open and when things would have been bought from the system account, such as ink or travel or postage, that those expenses can still be coded to that account and they agreed um, David Loyne agreed and so did the okay chairman. I'm really confused you keep talking about the system are we no longer the Sumner County Library Library Board system at the moment we're still a system and we're going to vote on all, that all we have is our director is that position is vacant okay right my concern because the way you're speaking, it sounds like you've already made a decision as the new people on the board and the more new people that keep coming on the board that are being given these positions by the committee on committees, sounds to me like they're, pla they're placing people on this board to go the way that a certain group wants the, the board to go. The commission is not happy with this system. 20, 25 years ago, or maybe even 30 years ago, the libraries, when they started becoming funded by the county for the majority of their um, operating and payroll, there was some criteria. Well, that, can I can I do point of order because we're not even talking about the system right but now. But I'm confused what we're, she's we're talking, talking about, about budget transfers. Right, right and now. that has can, to do can with. We, can we stick to the budget transfers okay. right now? But that has to do with the fact that she's talking about that we're no longer going to be a system. No. So my concern, that's my concern. Yeah. My so concern, you said you budgets. wanted it to stay in that system account. Temporarily. Okay. There's no rush. 
in my okay. opinion, right now to do all of this. Okay, but we've got our managers that need to pay bills. Our accounts have been frozen. We can't do anything. They can't we do line to line. Anything right now. We have a other than pay out of our individual account. I've got zero balances right now. Not actually zero. I have negative, negative balances right now, and a couple of mine. I know Alan's got a couple of negative mm -hmm. balances in his. We all we would like for for right now, if you want to talk to the budget committee, that's perfectly fine. I totally have a good agree with that. Right. And we would I just will like to David be able to more. transfer within our own budget right now <laughs> to cover some things that were normally covered by the the system account. Right. And there's no reason that those. Okay. And somebody get in touch with David or Bill. Yes, I will. And we let them can, know or, I will entertain a motion right now yeah, absolutely. To, un, to to allow the managers to go back and move use between their own accounts in their own accounts, move their money so they can pay bills without a negative balance. Because they've done that for I mean that was done. We're the only for the, department in Southern County right now that is not allowed to move money within our own yeah, within your own within your own individual budget. Right. So Diane, yeah, right I was gonna say that and that's what I'm saying. I think May I have, would you somewhere. would you please word the motion? Yeah. Yes. And and I've already sent something like this to to the budget committee. Is that um, is that the library directors are have the authority to move budget dollars from one line item to another within their own library budget. Okay. That does There's not the say that. Yeah, that I not, know. They can't touch the system account. I understand no. that. But they can still pay their bills. Okay. They've got a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Thank you. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. So that clears that so we can get. You can pay your advertising bill and not go into the negative, right? That sort of thing. Right. Well, the okay. next bill has to go before the commissioners. I think the I transfer. Think they told us the I think. Was not. Yeah. We just needed to get no. back in touch with David told to me. David told to me, to me yeah. all I had yeah. to do after this meeting was call him and say we approved certain transfers. Right. So I can call him right. in the morning and say, and it does not have to go back. Right. Because now, the they, only other thing that I want to add to that is it needs to be under twenty five hundred dollars right. because that's always been the well. Rule. Is that if that's county policy? Right, it is know, county it is. policy. Then you know we're not if that's county that's policy. Right. I think that goes yeah. without being right yeah. not being said that that's fine. No. Because you know when you anything like that you jump through the hoops and you know that you don't you know you, if it's uh, over five thousand I don't know it's five thousand dollars when I was around you had to get bids it's probably more than that now but you know it's you've, certain amounts you've got to get bids and that sort of thing right okay now are there any other pressing things that you all need in these transfers the only other that thing I would we say can Diane, address I mean, if, if you know not just Diane but everybody I'm a mm -hmm. person yeah uh -huh. there are pages of those transfers that were mm -hmm. turned in and everything and I understand that you know there's questions about those mm -hmm. and everything especially the personnel transfers and everything would the board consider going ahead and maybe approving the other transfers that would put money back into our travel lines or our data processing lines and things like that from the system would that be something that the board might consider doing? An enormous put, yeah, page. Put, put the personnel ones on hold. I right. totally understand yeah. that. You guys need to talk about I that. I think later. the budget committee just needs to look at what they are first and look at the current the current budgets that are currently But if the out budget there, committee you know, looks at it, yes. you're going to have to come back to us. You're talking March. Yeah. Then can I ask, Jackie's already been approved to sign off on emergency transfers. Mm -hmm. My only concern is, like, and I can just speak for myself, I'm, I'm not speaking for, for any of the other libraries. Um, I have a heating unit element. Right. It's out in my heating element. I just luckily got a phone call today, it's being made. Yay. So we're gonna get it probably the first of February. But as soon as I pay for that, I have a line that's gonna be zero. Right. It's gonna be absolutely zero. Right. If anything else goes wrong in my building, can Jackie make an emergency transfer out of the system to cover my emergency whatever. If I have a plumbing issue or heaven forbid something more <laughs> frozen pies. No, no, that would be too huge. But I'm just yeah. saying anything uh -huh. under the twenty five hundred, under the twenty five hundred, is Jackie allowed to make an emergency transfer? I don't I don't know that I have a problem with that. Yeah. If 
there and it's truly an emergency. And and I am. She sat in them. And Susan is sending me copies. If you need to see them, they're on my phone. I, my my laptop was not not charged when I left the house. So. Can yes. can I ask though that? and maybe I didn't see it, that we get notification as soon as those budget transfers sure, because I don't have I need a problem with that, right, but as you soon know. as that's yeah. done. Would you be okay if we sent Jackie but then copied you guys on it? That would like, be wonderful. Jackie would be the primary, but then we would see oh, yeah. you guys on it. Yes, yes. We can yeah. Or you yeah. can send it to me and I can yeah. forward it either yeah. way. And that would just be, I don't know if you're saying to send it to you and see us. Yeah, that would send you for you to do. Yeah. Yeah. You just make it immediately. She will not have to turn around and remember to do it. Yeah. But this will not include any personnel dollars. No, no, no this no, is not only at all. for those. Because no. the ones that the personnel that they're dealing with is already in your budget, right? right. So, right. It yeah, has the personnel. To do with those transfers, no. I know Anita's got some. I guess got two. New Gabby, people, yeah. Alan has one or two, but those are already in their budgets, right. and they can transfer. Now they can transfer within right. those budgets. Right. So I'm we're. Not gonna stand up for. I don't typically stand up for me personally. The libraries are the priority. I do, oh yes, I, I, I forgot about I have, that. I was put in the senior director position in September when Sally retired, um, and I've been doing that job with no pay raise, waiting for this transfer, and. Um, I think I'm worth it. I've, I go above and beyond. I work 100 hours. I, and I'm helping everybody. I'm doing the duties listed as a level 10 senior director for the library system per the pay payroll salary. And none of these people will argue with that. I'm begging for this. I deserve this. I've waited. I'm not asking for back pay. I'm simply asking for what the payroll salary is paying Alan currently as a senior director. That I've been promised for months. Mm -hmm. um, I agree, and I, I agree know well. that that's a and that's also an HR definition. You know, we're within county guidelines to do that, so that's an HR kind of thing. And I, if you wanted to call that an emergency, I could sign off on it as an emergency. Um, or if you just want to approve that one transfer. I think we could handle it either way and and get Gabby the money that I think it should go through the system and I think we should approve it as a board and all so that way there wouldn't be any questions um, yes I, I, I apologize and please no offense to you but um, uh, one this is just kind of being dropped on us right it's now not, it's been in the, board, it's been in the board for a month okay yes I don't see a board request, and I haven't. Has any of the new people seen this board request? Because I don't have a board request. It's it's in the packet I sent you. What packet? Oh no. Okay. Um, I know Anita's got up. Well, you know, and Gabby, no offense, but this was something that was created because of the library system. Prior to the library system, HR and legal. They both, everybody has signed off on it. That is in my title, and I've worked it without the pay that is deserved for that title, <clears throat> while somebody else is getting the pay for the exact same title. And that was the point of the salary survey, is to make sure we all got equal pay and were treated fairly for the work we're done. Then, mm -hmm. then why weren't you raised up to that because level? we've been waiting on you all. No, but the salary uh, survey had nothing to do with yeah, the war. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you know, I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. and here, she's, the packet that she sent. If you will look at Portland's packet, oh, it is on the very last page. But that was just given to us yesterday, right? That's what happened in September. You're talking yeah. about the thing that was given to us just yesterday. Uh -huh. But I haven't even had a chance to take a look at because it was given to us yesterday. And then so this isn't this something happened. that has been given to us for a while. And she has been doing the job that I am doing at not the same pay, which in the era of transparency, I don't feel it is just, right? And I feel like it's not right. I mean, somebody could infer, though I'm sure nobody really needs it, but somebody could infer that a woman is not getting paid equally as a man. And I, I We're not going to go there. Well, no, no, no. I'll go there. Um, but, um, um, no. And so... Um, I'm just saying, it, I, 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 there was an agreement made, it has not been honored, and I feel like it's unfair to her. 
Okay. It has been, if you've had, and I know I sent yeah. you, this is the explanation, yeah. but I did send you the entire budget report a month ago when you asked me for it. It's on that, that document I sent you a month ago. Are you talking about the one that was sent to um, to budget committee at commission? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. It has been on that document. Okay, so that was the first time I saw it. This is the first explanation of it. Okay. And 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 so, uh, I mean, and so honestly, that was that was what um, December. 15th or something like that. I don't mm -hmm. even I don't even know what that was. And this is the first explanation of it. And um, so this is the first time I'm being able to actually take a look at it. So you weren't on the board prior to that, so you wouldn't have had knowledge yeah. to it. If yeah, right. Cor <laughs> correct. Okay. So Can so what I'm trying so minute? okay so uh, this is new minute new minute information minute. to me. Okay and. Um, how long has it been? How long was this promised? Since September. Since September. Actually, even before that, because we had discussions about it in the summer. Okay. So, um, I, 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 you know, and now there's a new board, and I don't know what the old board did and why they didn't approve it. But, um, but I am. The board never had to approve stuff until December. Before that, the commit the commissioners approved it without it going through the board we, we had control of our own finances then okay so then why wasn't it approved in the summertime because we wanted sally to be able to retire with the highest pay possible because she had 15 years of experience and i only had eight okay so um and so you chose i chose to let another employee get the pay until she retired okay so so that was your choice it was a group choice Okay, so now we just got this information. But it's been out since. Well, where did the ball get dropped? Yeah. The commissioners yeah. decided that the board had to start approving things, which was every day. Because you had. December. Yeah, no, you had I an think, election uh, no, before honestly, that. Um, um, I think that the commissioners were always supposed to approve mm -hmm. that they, stuff. We were never, we told, we were told that all we had to do That's right. in the past, That's and I need to verify this, all we had to do was go to David Walling and request transfer. Okay, it, and but when it was over $2,500, it had to go to the commission. Right, and it's gone to the commissions and they kicked it back to y'all. Okay, so now, now we're just getting the, literally got this yesterday so um, you literally got that but we as the board members that have been on the board have been waiting for this okay so there's three board members that are old board members there's one two three four five that are brand new we understand that you have not heard it but I know Beth knows and Jackie knows she's been waiting for this raise we've uh, submitted it to the Commission they did they skipped it over then you have to submit it again they skipped it over and then they sent it to us because they made the decision they that skipped the, it over twice yes, yes. they did mm -hmm. the just board. like lots of other things that the commissioner commission has skipped over with this board like me being here right now the commission was supposed to talk about me either being reappointed or somebody else being reappointed. They, they skipped it over. No, they didn't. No, they yes, didn't. they no, did. They, no, on committee, on committee, on Monday, they appointed Ruth Fennell. Okay. It should have come up in December. It should have come up in December. In December's committee, on committee, I was supposed to come up. They skipped it over. I, that's why I said at the last, mis last meeting, I would be the vice chairman if they accepted me in December. I said it. It was in the minutes. Mm -hmm. I remember. So they skipped it. The committee on committee did not speak about me. They didn't send it to the chair people. They do that all the time with the board. You'll find out when you work on this board for a long time that they'll skip over because they don't think the library is worth anything. I don't believe I'm going to say that in, uh, in public, but I'm going to say it's been skipped over two times. She's been waiting and waiting and waiting. The point is there's no reason for her to wait for this any longer just because the chair people have decided that they want us to make that decision. I understand, it's great, we can make that decision, but because you haven't seen it, doesn't mean that she should not be given her raise that she's been promised a long time ago. Okay. And okay. Gabby, okay. where did this 
the, the confusion that I have with this is that during the salary survey, when, when everybody, huh? The salary survey descriptions and um, level nine and level 10 are in there, are in my packet. Okay, and so if, if, you were become, if you became a level nine or level 10, whatever you said you were, um, due to the salary survey adjustments, mm -hmm. when everybody got their new pay rate, mm -hmm. and you were made a senior director, mm -hmm. why did you not get your pay back then? Because I wanted salary room to be where we all, the board, the managers, everybody voted on Sally being able to retire at the highest amount possible because she put in the time and the work. But she was at Portland. That had nothing to do with that. At the time, the she was the senior director. We made that was her, her title. The senior director until she retired. Can I give so. you some context? So April in the summer, we all met. Right, and she said, you know, when I'm not here and I need some help, and so she asked that two people would assume her duties whenever she was able to do that, right? And so myself and Gabby took that on. Okay. Right? Um, Gabby, and we all sat and we uh, said, hey, I'm willing to forego it until Sally retires, when she retired in September. When that, when you're, you're speaking of, when that actually happened, the money happened, it happened at the beginning of September. So Sally is still currently in a position, even though she retired in September. Okay. So it was supposed to happen later that month. However, the new commission, all these things, it just gets, sure. keeps getting pushed off. So she's been doing the work actually since summer. Um, but because So she, if I go to HR, and I talked to HR. They can show me a document that says that. I've got the emails between April and HR and myself and the other managers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. And I also think there's precedent, and I understand not wanting to go on something you just saw, but I, I've watched now numerous uh, commission meetings where an agenda item gets introduced and it gets voted on um, because maybe. It, they need to do that or not, and I feel like um, this needs to happen, right? And because it was done in good faith, because she could have insisted, no, I'll just take it then. And but it was done in good faith because we were at the time trying to come together as one, and we had been five separate entities for the good of everybody in Sumner County. And I think a lot of good has come from that. So I feel like it's punitive to her, not maybe intended, right? I understand it's not intended, but it's punitive that she's not only lost that salary all this time, but will continue to lose it, right? And I'm not sure what the objection would be that she wouldn't get it. Like, I, I understand the budget committee wants to meet on certain things, and there's some questions, which I've said from the onset, if you would just ask us, I'm happy to answer those questions, because maybe we could rectify some of the the confusion right now, and I've tried to do that with the budget committee, but I don't think they, they really wanted to know um, any of the, my thoughts. Um, so I'm happy to do that for you now, too, because I feel like this could be easily solved. The senior director positions were built into our budget in July. The budget we submitted had it for two senior directors and three directors. That's money that's there and just sitting. It's not like we're asking for more money or to move money. The money is there, and because we had to wait, it's not being spent from September to whenever y'all decide that you trust us enough. And I would say if the budget committee looked at it and then said, okay, the board gets to decide, then we get to decide. Mm -hmm. You know, right. if, that's the, the, if that's the responsibility that they ask us to do, we need to step up the, to the plate mm -hmm. right. and yes. do that. I have, so. some, I have some salary reports, and um, this was provided to me by the commission. And, Alan, when I look at you, you are listed as a senior library. When I look at Gabby, you are not. Okay. It just says, but you said that you already were. You yes. just That's weren't I getting the yes. money. But it's not on the, here. Is Sally, on, on your is Sally still on there? And is she okay. listed as a senior? And, is and Sally think, still there? And, and the reason for that, ma'am, is I think is because the money was originally allotted to Sally. So yeah. I think that money, because that money has never been officially allotted to Gabby, they haven't listed her with that title. But she, but. Right. Well, and I can tell you, 
um, that before the system was created, because I think this is where you're falling into this black hole, is that before the system, when the five libraries were independent libraries, there was no senior versus regular. Everybody was peers, everybody they were was peers. equal. You know yourself that you were paid so much more than the rest of us. Um, Hendersonville is paid more because we paid at what the person before left. We are trying to follow the salary survey where everybody makes the same thing. Right, and I was not the highest paid. Okay. I was not. I was second. But, but all Gabby's asking highest. for is that she gets paid for the position that she has been working and the title that she has been given at and if regardless of we are a system or not a system at the time right now we are a system and so we need to make a decision as a board are we going to pay her for her title and her position or not and as a board member I would feel that we would all understand that she works extremely hard mm -hmm. and she should be paid what she's been promised to be paid. And the, because she, it's not like she's sitting there doing nothing. Well, she the salary survey hard. didn't exist when you were there. Correct. No, and, and that's, where, that's so, where I'm trying to understand is because of the salary survey. So this is, a, an, a, this is not a library system issue, it's an yeah. HR issue. It, or, across the board. And I hate to say the word issue, that sounds negative. It's an HR hierarchy, mm -hmm. right. and Across the board, she has reached that hierarchy. Across the board, in all the county systems, schools everywhere, people got raises because they needed to make sure everyone was being paid fairly. Across the county, right. she's a county employee. Right. The county, the survey that came out was so that county employees that were given certain jobs were paid for those jobs. She's not being paid for that job. She is working a job, and we have not given her the pay. I mean, as a board member, I would not hate for her to have to go to legal and, and have a problem because she's working a job, and we are, as a board, need to make that decision that we're going to pay her for that job. She's not being paid for that job. I know me, if I was working at a school and I was not being paid for my, ex my experience and expertise, I would be in legal right now. So if just to, just to confirm, okay, and just to clarify, you were offered the job, you chose not to take it, so Sally, is it Sally? Sally Rim. Sally Rim could get paid at the highest retirement, correct? She took the job, she just did for, for went the salary. Okay, so you, you, okay, was so you, you, so I or when the salary, I just, just let me, let me finish my thought here. So you could, um, and you forwent the salary so that she could retire at the highest. But somewhere in writing, it was said that after Sally retired, that you would get this money. Okay. And the only reason that you haven't got that money is because... We haven't voted on it. We haven't voted on it. Yeah. Is that correct? Am I, am I? With the changes yet, I, we're, we're still trying to figure out who votes on what before. It literally just went to the commissioners. So yeah. when this happened, it went to the commissioners. The commissioners deferred it. They deferred it until they made the decision that the board should vote on it. Okay. So the commissioners won't vote on it because now we have to vote on those things. So we need okay. to vote on So we need to vote on it. Yes, we do. And then my question, now my next question is, is the $5,740, $5,740, that's what we're voting on, correct for you? Okay. And that is going to be added to your salary. Okay? Not all at once, you know, that's my new salary level. Yeah, okay. it's not that much. And it's over a, from now until the end of the fiscal year. Okay, and um, and is that in? Do we have that money? Yes. Oh, okay. yes. It's, it's in the budget. budget. Okay. That's what I just. It's I'm like, we yeah. need. To in know. fact, in fact, there was now a surplus there, because she wasn't paid, and she didn't start it, but she's not asking for back pay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But that five thousand seven hundred and forty. It's sitting there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was supposed yeah. to be yeah. from an annual yeah. Yeah. increase. Starting okay. in okay. September so going to the that end of the fiscal year. She didn't get year. the rest of it because of mm -hmm. it's right. cool. We, and she's not asking for the backpack. Gotcha. Gotcha. She's asking for it to start. Now. So we're still it's currently sitting in my budget. Yes. Yeah. Okay. When Sally left the uh, end of September, yeah. whatever, it has not been used since then. Okay. 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 So it That's is what I just want to clarify. Where it's, it's a you know. simple, it's a transfer, okay. but it's not line to line within okay. Anita's budget. Right. It's got to go from Anita's budget to Gabby's budget. Okay. And okay. I, so in that same line, one of that, So been. that's a personnel transfer, but it's an easy fix. So I to motion bring Allie that up. that money that's sitting in Portland's budget for the personnel line order item 105, 105 be transferred to the Gallatin 105. 105 budget line so that Gabby can get her rate. Okay, I have second. a motion. I have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so that's our personnel. Uh, we're, we've looked at, we've allowed them to do, I'm just kind of recapping a little bit. They can do their line item uh, transfers within their own budgets like they've always been able to do now because right. we've taken a look at it and we said it's okay with us because David's going to be looking at this. I mean, they're not, you know, Everything's going through him anyway, so um, that's okay. May I'll, I ask who is going to contact David? I will. I will. You, I will. Okay. you, you, you uh, text me in the morning yes. and remind me oh, after exercise class. Okay. I don't do anything until after exercise. Okay. So anyway. But yeah, text me in the morning and I will call him. Is it appropriate for me as an observer to ask a question? Oh, okay. well, we will. Do do I have a motion to suspend yeah. the rules? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, we just suspended the rules. So you're yeah, we right. suspended the rules. So you can, you can talk. You can talk. I had a motion and a second like this. Okay. You know, everybody said. Right. Um, I've had something similar to, to her situation happen to me many, many years ago when I worked for a city government. Mm -hmm. To me, the fair thing is, even though she's graciously waived that, there should be a motion for the back pay, if, if not necessarily for September, because then you could get into, well, when did she quit, blah, blah, blah. Right. But October, November, and December, she should get her that money for October. There. Yeah, if it's not used, it's so, be, so yeah. And if we don't, I, I think mean, that's we the need right thing to do. So yeah. I motion that Gabby gets her back pay starting from October of 2022, to the time that we are here meeting at this board meeting. One, I don't know how much that is. So I, like we, it's we still it's, in it's that still in that budget. Yeah. It's, it's still in that, that line. Yeah. It's all, that the money, the yeah. money has yeah. always been there. It's set in, in Portland's budget because <laughs> Sally was from Portland. So when Sally left in September, she no longer was paid. Whatever was left from her pay so in line is, line of, right. is yeah, sitting exactly. in their budget. So there's more than 5,700. Yeah. So it she's not going to get that much money. It's, not yeah. it's included yeah. in all so, of that. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. still yeah. in that umbrella. The only um, question that I want to caution you on is that when Sally left, I don't know how much vacation time she had. That has already been paid. It, is already it already paid. has been paid, but it, it potentially came out of this 5000 It no, came no. out of your budget. No. 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 It was built into the budget because yeah. we knew she was going to retire. It was already paid. Okay, okay. Line, item, line item 105 yeah. Okay, is $5,742. Okay. We just passed that, correct? Yes, we moved she, it. We moved it from one building to another budget building so that she can receive her raise. Correct. That doesn't mean she's getting all of that money. That's the money for an entire year of her working. Correct. So whether she starts being paid in January or starts being paid in October, the money is sitting still there. Buyer. Okay. So are we voting to have more money than five thousand? No. No. no, no, we're no. just voting to have her draw get the back pay yeah. to draw best her back pay immediately out yeah. of the five thousand. Let me just want to make sure. Yeah, you've got okay. You've got your little field fold of five thousand 
dollars. I, I totally whatever. get it. I'm yeah. just, I'm just. And I took it to Gabby. Right. Well, she wasn't going to take all of that money. She was going to start. I, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now I she know. can immediately get the back pay from right. October, October, November, November, December, December. December. Yeah. and yeah. immediately out of the five thousand, and mm -hmm. then the rest will be the rest yeah. of the year. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have a motion. I motion. I have motion. I have second. Okay. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Thank you. Um, and all. Thank you, Gabby, for being so gracious, and thank you for taking up for her. Um, and, and may I say something really quickly? So um, stuff like this, I'm, I'm going to ask that because, again, this is my first explanation of this, um, that it be given to us a little bit more than 24 hours ahead of time. Well, and because, because it was Christmas, because we sure. had pipes burst, because okay. we had a lot of things going on, mm -hmm. I, I asked for it on the fifth, but you know, as it didn't, you know, and then I got sick, so I didn't get to send it but out. In November, but in November, I don't think that this was discussed. We didn't have. Uh -uh. Well, we see. No. It so was, if this wasn't, this was such a pending thing. This was not brought up to us in November. We didn't know we were that they were going to send it back to us in November. But it should have still been something that was discussed. It was already in. It was already operations. sent to the chair people. So sorry, why what? it was already sent to the to the chair committee? So why would we discuss something we'd already sent there so you were in November? They were correct. Yes. In yes. November, so that was right. it was that supposed to be on down. their yeah. agenda. Yeah. They chose not. They chose to defer it again. Right. So when they choose to defer things, they choose that after we meet. So we so met the month. week before they met. Mm -hmm. They had already supposed to have it on their agenda. They chose not to do yeah. it. This is the next time that we're meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So this okay. thing's cleared up right yes. now. Except, okay. Right. Okay. Except for those other, you know, those. I mean, that's the personnel yeah. committee, yeah. and we. So you all give me some guidance. I will call David and tell him you can do line item. We voted on that. Mm -hmm. And that Gabby can get her raise. Is there anything else we need to discuss or take care of that's pending? And then I do some of the other things I can address, such as your heating system, as an emergency. Mm -hmm. And we can do that. And I will graciously do that. And Susan, you can send the emails for that. So I'll be glad to do whatever I can. And like I say, uh, I need a text me, and I'm only <laughs> less than a mile from the library, so I can She's get there. She usually comes in in her workout clothes. Yeah, you should come in her workout clothes. <laughs> you know, so I'll come to you after workout. So. Anyway, but yeah, I can get there, and it won't be, a real, and it's not an imposition at all. So, okay. and go ahead. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just glad we got that figured out. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I think a lot of these things are that simple. But it needed somebody to say it's line item 105. You know, I think that if, if we look at this, it's like, okay, this is just a bunch of figures. But when we can get somebody to say it's line item 105 to line item 105, and that's where it's going, we can understand, or we can make that, you know, we can understand that. So. Okay. And all. Um, <laughs> so let, we've gotten all of the emergency stuff out okay. of the way. We can move forward on that, and then you all can keep us informed. And you do have now, they did a fantastic job of sending us those documents. Mm -hmm. And yes. each one, some of them on their line items, each one has an explanation. Mm -hmm. right. So, yeah, the budget now, committee will look at those, mm -hmm. and then now they will know what to do. Now, my question is once they know, once the budget committee, the commissions. Budget committee understands this process. Are we going to have to go through this every other month? Maybe. And I, I think that until the commission decides that they they are feeling good about where the libraries are, then I think they'll loosen their their staffs. For what it's worth, we're desperate to work with y'all. We'd rather work with y'all than strange commissioners. We want people who are in our building that we can work on because we're all still learning mm -hmm. every day. We don't know what we're doing. Y'all don't know. I don't we're know all that. trying to figure it out. And I'd much no. rather figure out with people who are coming in our building and sitting with us and seeing our people. Yeah. We want help. 
We want y'all involved. We're excited. We don't even need, like, the commissioners are y'all's deal. We don't want to do it. We want y'all to do it. That's what we're hoping for. And that's, I think that's what we're wanting, honestly. I think that yes. there's a lot of new people yes. here. We want to come and, and we want to learn. Put library cards. And we, and, and, yeah. and we want to work. Mine works yes. all over the why. That is why we are now voting to have a meeting every month instead of every other month. So we we want to work with you, but we are also held accountable to the commission. So 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 we have to come to you so we can be held accountable to them. So. And we're also in that unique position where we're accountable to the commission to a degree, but we're also accountable to the state of Tennessee. Right. You know, right. and we have we have to walk the line where we're in their guidelines and you know, I mean it's yeah. it's right. not an easy how many of you have done your trustee thing online yet? God, we're starting. Oh, right. I registered. <laughs> Working on it. I and, I, and I registered for uh, something on January twenty fourth. I don't know. I'm just registering. I'm just oh, got good. classes going on yeah, at the Zoom here. At so. our training. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Which one is that? That'd be great. Yeah, Which one is that, Caitlin? Conflict yeah. management. Conflict management. Yeah. 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 I was like, I think I'm going to be I'll be there. So, um, <laughs> but anyway, okay. yeah, we're okay. in such a unique position that it's, it is, it's a learning experience for all of us. And <laughs> yeah, that's all I say. Yes. I'm like Forrest Gump. That's all I say about that. You know? yeah. but, okay, moving on. Um, well, that's Debbie. She's just we're going to go through the directors and let them give, you have their reports in front of you. We can let them say just a little something about it quickly, because I promised him we'd try to be out of here pretty soon. But just a little something about it. If there's any insight you can give us on some of these full budget transfers down the road, we'd appreciate that. Um, I know, I think um, Lauren had one that's a little bit pending. It was yeah. a request and that sort of thing. Um, so she might want to explain that. And we can look at it. The children's with oh, the yes. children. Say, yes. say something about that too. So we just give us a quick report along the way. You want to go in the line you have them on there? It, or? it does go, not. Go Amy wants to go first. Hi, I'm Amy, and I'm from Millersville, and I'm exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, this, I'm sorry. This was the best I could do. We had a flood. Yeah. Um, and no internet. No internet no for internet. a while. No power. Yesterday was the first day that, no, Monday was the first day I was able to have staff in the building because we finally got water back. Mm -hmm. Up until that point, it had been me, and I had been driving home to use the restroom to get water. So I'm very excited with the, with everything that's going on. Hopefully they'll start painting tomorrow. We got walls. Good. We got walls. We don't have anything in the walls, but we got walls. Um, so this is just a really quick breakdown of what we did in November and December. Um, I don't have I don't have a number yet of damaged items. Um, I want to take this time again to just thank Mary Beth and her husband. It was Christmas morning. I got the phone call at 8.45. I threw boots on, and I was in my jammies when I got there. I called her, and I said, I don't know what to do. And they were there. And I just, thank you so much. You're welcome. I just part of being that community. It is. Mm -hmm. And that's, I'm sorry. And our department was great. They were there. They worked probably two hours to squeeze you out as they, much water And they came as they back could. after you left to help some more on our police. And one of our city commissioners came on Christmas morning and helped us. They prevented the library from having hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage if we had to wait. David Gregory. David Gregory. He, I haven't been in Millersville very long but it's my library and I love it so much. Yeah. And no, yeah. concealed, don't feel. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love my library and I love my community. I live in Millersville. It's, it's, my, it's my library, I love it. And okay, so these are just the numbers. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the 280 bags that says friend collaboration, I forgot to put what that was. It was our Millersville Christmas Parade. Oh, 
Um, the friends provided the candy, and me, my children's librarian, and some Tennessee Titan cheerleaders and their escorts rode on our little trailer that we created, and we tossed out 280 bags of candy. And in each bag, there was a card that said it was from Millersville Public Library Friends and how to join them if they're interested. And it had a little, those little scanner cutie QR codes yeah. <laughs> that took them directly to our library that showed them how to get a library card. Cool. Oh, so each cool. piece of each bag had information about our library. Cool. And that's why I wanted to add it, because I know Friends are a little different, but it was... We got that out to the people in our community, and I'm just so thrilled about that. Um, on the next page is just a real brief what our children's librarian did for our homeschool program, the Seminots, in November and December. She's going to be missed. <laughs> um, she, her last day was Monday, and so I have that job posted, and I am getting ready. I was going to post, but you know, at first, a part-time clerk position to help fill in gaps that I now see because I've only been there since October and so you know you don't want to hire someone until you know what the need is. Mm -hmm. I, I did a needs assessment, I talked with my staff, so we're going to try and get that posted and done. Sorry I said I'd go fast. Um, mm -hmm. Amy, is that filling an existing part-time position yes, yes. that you that you yes, had but had you filled it? Correct. Okay. Where did your children's library come? Oh, she got a wonderful job opportunity. I cannot remember the name of the company. It's a nonprofit, oh. and she is working with a company that helps schools and daycares get government grants. Oh, wow. Okay. And that's like right up her alley. She, I would just not want to do that. <laughs> um, on the next page is just some pictures from the initial damage. Mary Beth, some of those should look real familiar to you. Okay. And then that's the demo day. And then I had to do a little humor of Michael Scott because that's exactly how I felt that morning. But now we all know who to contact. So there we go. I, I love being a trendsetter. Yeah. And then the next pages, these are just our, our monthly reports of like our statistics that I just was comparing from 2021 to 2022. So you could see the growth that, that we've done. And you know, I'm, I'm real proud of it. I can't claim most of it. But I have a great group of people. And then budget adjustments, if anybody has any questions. Otherwise, I'm at my library, <laughs> always. But yeah, there's a good job here where you show the line, and then the next mm -hmm. page is the budget. I'm trying to be as rational. possible. If anybody no. has any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. OK. All right. Go ahead, Lauren. All right. I'm Lauren. I'm from Westmoreland. Um, um, to start. So I have this lovely packet with the bubbles all over the front. And it just says library updates at the top and then what's on at the bottom. Um, the front page mm -hmm. is a, sort of a narrative, just what we've done in the past couple of months through November and December. Um, and then what we have upcoming. Um, I did just like throw in a blurb of like this summer reading what the theme is. Thank you. Um, so the next two pages are just some cute pictures. Going over, um, we have a homeschool group that we started back in August, right at the beginning of the school year, and it has been flourishing hugely. Um, on the front page, it says we average a weekly 26 in attendance. That is a very low ball answer. January, last Wednesday, we had 36 in attendance, and today we have 41 in attendance. Wow. We are outgrowing our building, which is a very good problem to have. So. We're getting creative with the space at the moment. Um, right. yeah. All because of Angie. Angie is fabulous. I'm glad I stole her. She, okay, she worked in the office with her. So. <laughs> um, we have some events coming up in January and February. I didn't give a ton of calendars out, but it's also on our website. Um, we have a Disney character coming to visit us. She's not technically Disney, but I can say that here. Um, but Elsa is coming to visit and share some magic. So if you have babies, or in babies that love her, it's going to be a fun time. They'll be able to take pictures. We'll have an icy craft, um, drinks and snacks and stuff for the families. Um, we just hired a part-time clerk that was in our budget. Um, we have one our my part-time clerk left at the beginning of December. Um, so I have another girl that I've hired, and she's wonderful. I'm excited to work with her, and she'll begin 
Saturday. Um, and then the next page on that packet, it just goes into budget adjustments. The only one that I wanted to like bring attention to, because it's not something that needs to be adjusted. It's not something that needs, um, we filled our part-time clerk position and we were working on transferring that so we could get a full-time one. Yes. Can, uh, yeah. can I just um, point this out that um, encourage is spelled incorrectly? You might want to make sure that that's... I don't even know where... Introducing weekly take-home craft kits that oh, encourage... It, yeah. create it was tough very quickly. I was just saying, don't send that out. Oh, no, this is just <laughs> okay, for here. Okay. This is just for here. I don't okay, send it out okay, anywhere. I'm going to make sure. sure. Okay. real quickly for Jackie. Okay. Mm -hmm. I promise I'm going to do it. No, 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 no. I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't going out to the public because then it'd be like, yeah. oh, wait. <laughs> and I think there's another one. Yeah, this yeah. is this is just for you guys. Okay. Yeah. Um, but no, that last one when we talked about personnel, um, there was a transfer that I've been requesting into my line um, for librarians. Like I said, our children's activities are flourishing and they're growing weekly. Um, Next fiscal year, I would greatly appreciate, even if we got rid of the part-time position, because that girl is planning to go to college, um, it, I would love to have another full-time position instead of part-time, because it would be great hands on deck. Just something to think about for the future, budget committee, and all that. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, who's next? I won't take a lot of your time because I know it's late. Um, I included in there for you a stat sheet, so if you have any questions about the numbers. Um, the, the report part just broke out our programming by children's, teens, and adults, just to show you what we've done in the November, December months only. And there's a calendar for what the January events are. Um, this is our slow time of year, so right now we kind of just doing the test out things. So We've been testing out some new game kind of thing for young adults and for teens. Uh, we just started a new writing program, which seems to be gaining some traction for our teenagers. So we'll try a couple more things and test some tricky things. And some of those things, we'll see if maybe we need to tweak them or alter them or put them on a different night and then put them into the rotation for the rest of the year or not, or maybe we just don't do it. Right? So we're just uh, uh, talking to folks and seeing how it's received. We have murder mysteries coming up in February. It's not listed anywhere. We did one in November or in October. It was highly, highly uh, successful, and we're doing one for the one to sign up. Everything is free. We're also doing a painting class, which is on your January thing, and that has been super popular as well. Um, so, and on the back page of that report lists the new staff, and, I'm, and the one it says children's librarian because when I printed this, um, I hadn't talked to her yet, but the young lady that we offered the meeting to on Monday called me this morning right before I was walking out to come here, and she accepted it. Her name is Julia Cummings, so we have a children's librarian position now filled as well. Um, and we have two part time positions, but they are not posted because I'm just looking to make sure um, we need that don't um, or where we could use that help and so um, with all the positions we've kind of done a needs assessment every time something's opened up so we don't necessarily post it right away um, because you might as the budget committee looks to see our our payroll line you're going to see that we haven't spent all of our money because we've had positions that have been open throughout the year and of course we don't get that money back so it's not that we want to waste that money but we also don't want to be wasteful with the taxpayer money. Mm -hmm. Alan, so. have you filled your operations manager position? We, we did and that transition is going to happen officially on Saturday though. So Rebecca Illick is our current operations manager and she is wonderful. She is stepping down into a part-time position and our one of our part-timers, um, Alicia Neighbors, is going to become the operations manager. So they've been cross-training these last two weeks. And um, and then that will officially happen. Rebecca's last day will be Thursday as the operations manager, and Lisa will assume that on Saturday. Okay. One other question for you: In December, your ILLs you had 104 borrowed and then 83 loaned. Normally, those numbers are switched. Is that a result of pe of people wanting to use their library card everywhere? You know, at any library? Um, or do you know why? I don't, that I don't think that's. Part of it, I think normally we, because when we request something, um, I'll double check with James why that, because that's even higher than normal. Because right. Remember, we're on the 30s and 40s range, yes. right? I think that's about average for us. So I think uh, I picked up some of Millersville that last week, too. It could have been that. And because we, were, we, have, we can't do ILS right now. 
Yeah, uh, it's always good to have ILL activity because it shows you're supporting the state. I think you but might be it, looking at our quarterly totals, right? Oh, you know what? I think I am. Yes. I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, I should have mentioned that. I, I only included November and December. I didn't include October uh, because I'm only including from the last meeting. Uh, but then I also, uh, every Every quarter, and this happens to be in the quarter, we have to submit the last three months, and so that page is on there. I should have clarified yeah. that. So that's December, you had 37 borrowed and 17 loaned. Correct. So that's still yeah. a fairly high number. So that's good. Okay. Any other questions? No. Thank you. Next. Um, do So that all of my stuff includes October, November, and December. I know we met since then. Y'all met since then. But those are kind of the state numbers that I just already had them created, so I made them pretty. Um, we, um, y'all can look through these yourselves. Y'all are intelligent human beings. I did want to say we were hit by OSHA, and um, we discovered that the whole county is a little untrained and unprepared for OSHA. But we have created OSHA safety data in the, the yeah, sheets materials. for all five libraries. We worked with HR, and they're going to help us get a train a yearly training. Um, so that was a headache because nobody had an example because no one had never at any of the five libraries ever had this binder, and it's this thick. And, um, but we have it now, by golly, and we are up to standards, <laughs> and you can't stop us. <laughs> um, also, just some other fun, I just threw a lot of numbers at y'all. We had our open house was gigantic, and I truly appreciate all of you that came and visited us and partook in the Santa festivities. Um, we kind of made it our mission at the after summer to do book signings <coughs> and really try to... Um, uh, work with our local authors, and these are just a few of them, but every Saturday from September until January, we had a different local author in our building doing talks, signing, selling their books, um, so it was really exciting to be a part of that community. We've also created more craft kits than ever before. We're up to um, over 100 a week, and we even gave those out while we were closed. We make special ones for holidays or anywhere our mobile library goes. We create extra ones for them. Um, and at this point, they're recognizable. It's really great advertising that costs very, very, very next to nothing, um, pennies a piece. But they've got educational information, entertainment, craft. Like, it's just all this in one little Bag with our logo on it, and people are beating down the doors Tuesday morning. They're gone by like Thursday, um, and it's just really awesome and makes us really recognizable. It's just we started them during COVID and haven't quit, and they just get bigger and bigger. Um, I've also included all of our calendars so you can see how busy we've been um, the last few months and some of the upcoming stuff in January. And then um, you've also got my. Uh, second quarter stat and I wanted to again give you the opportunity to see how much we've grown over the last compared to last year. Um, I'm really good at talking from my seat, not from standing up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, there's one other thing. Oh, I have our calendars and it printed really funny. Um, but this is our proposed holiday calendar for staff. We pretty much go along with the county building. Um, and because we're closed on Mondays, we typically accrue eight hours because we're already closed and the county's closed. And um, so that needs approval from y'all also, if y'all are okay with that. I think we've all been working on it. Um, and we tried, like, Portland closed yeah, on Mondays. Again, so we so. work together so that ours is similar and all of our people are getting an equal number of um, things so off for holidays and stuff like that. Um, do you have any questions or anything about anything oh. about taxes? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, um, I can talk higher. <laughs> the Gallatin budget line transfer is just the electricity. Was that mm -hmm. already approved? And was that? No. 
Um, and the electricity, we literally got a letter from Gallatin Electricity that our, the price was going to like double during the summer going forward, just as prices have gone up everywhere. They warned us that ours would be over, that it would be higher than it's ever been. And we tried to budget for it, it's still been higher. And we are super conservative. It's always cold and, or hot and like, we try. Um, we've got timers, we turn off everything. We try our hardest, but um, bills went up and we needed, eventually we'll need more money in our electricity line. Okay. Okay, so do you need that approved not by us? Or not in the yeah. Sorry. Yes, eventually. Okay. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. We're good for it. Couple of months. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So, so, I just wanted to but, make a note of that. But yeah, before, okay. probably before the end, before the end, especially, yeah. Then, yeah. so we know we're taking care of it. Yeah. yeah, we'll get that figured out. Thank okay. You all. Okay. Anything else? Thank you. I'm your open. Thank you so <laughs> your Christmas open house was wonderful. Thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, you didn't I'm, touch on that, but. Can I, can I just say something? I'm sorry. I, I should have said this, and I don't want anybody to think I wouldn't be transparent. Um, we had somebody pass away at the library last month, so I just want to mention what? that. I, In the park I did let know Ms. <gasps> yes, um, did. Wilbur know, but I, I didn't contact her immediately. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm in the field that every board member wants to be contacted. Um, yeah. But I didn't, it wasn't intentional not to contact you. It just, uh, I, I was yeah. told that she was the point of contact. So I just yes. wanted to let you know that as well. So okay. sorry. Okay. And from what I understand, did you not, you're the one that performed CPR? Yeah. So he, he tried. <laughs> he tried oh, wow. it. The guy I think was terrible. already gone before. Yeah. Yeah. I think he uh, yeah. Okay, we were supposed to be gone 15 minutes ago. Yeah. So, um, I'm not going to go over my packet. Basically, you guys, you can read it and everything. Thank you for everybody that came to our 75th. I think everybody will agree it was an amazing uh, thing. Um, you do have included two stories from the news, our local newspapers that got covered through our um, for our 75th and everything. Mm -hmm. I also have the calendar in there. Mine's the same as Gabby's. The only thing I do want to specifically bring to the board, and it is different than everybody else, Jackie will know we have the strawberry festival in Portland. Okay. I think everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. We are the li our library is close enough close enough to downtown that people come and park at our library. I am asking the board members if it is okay, you guys can approve it and everything, that we would be closed that day. By the time we get ready to open, our parking lot is full. There are no other places for anybody to park. There's no way for anybody to come in to park for the library if they wanted to. Right. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great day. If you guys haven't ever been, please come. That's it's great. amazing. But literally, the last several years, we have had one family come in and use the bathroom and one person come in and use the computer, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am asking for that specifically. What it is May the 13th. Yeah. It's a May Saturday. The They're only open 9 to 1 right. anyway. And I have already talked to my full-time people. They would be willing to go ahead and take holiday time or vacation time for that. And the one part-time person that we have, I will get her to work extra hours another day so that she won't be out here. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I would make a motion that, that we allow her to do that. Yeah. Um, I know what it was like at Hendersonville when we had election early voting, and and it was terrible. Your staff will get abused when people come in and yell at you that they couldn't find a place to park. Right. People will park on your on your grass. So. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a motion. I'll second. Can we? Can you word your motion that we accept? All of the calendars oh. and add that as an exception, as an addition. Yes, I make a motion that we that we accept the holiday calendars and we add Portland to be closed on May 13th, which is a Saturday for the Strawberry Festival. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a motion. Can I get a second? <laughs> uh, I think Joanna. Joanna, second. Okay. Yes. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Okay, motion carries. Thank you. The only other thing I would add is that I did mention earlier, we did hear just this morning that our heating element is being made as we speak. Hopefully it will be ready for pickup on February 2nd, and he, the guy said he would get it in ASAP. The only problem I have is I did get a quote from him last year for this part. I'm afraid that part might go up. That's my only thing. And in that line, it is specifically to the penny what they told me it was going to be. So I have nothing else in that line. So that might be my emergency. You might get emergency, and or we can run. You know, we can run a little bit of money. If it's an emergency, I can sign it. And Susan will send it to you immediately. Well, I said, so, if we are allowed to do our own transfers within our lines, then I can cover it from another yes. line. Okay. Okay. okay.
Okay. Tegman, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I haven't met you, I'm Caitlin. Uh, I work at the region with Cecilia, and I'm the assistant director there. A couple of things. Our office is going to be closed, uh, obviously, on January 16th for Martin Luther King Day, and then February 20th for President's Day. But on the 30th of January, which isn't a holiday, we have a staff day in Nashville, so FYI, we probably won't be answering the phones. Okay, upcoming training sessions from the region. So on the 24th of January, like Joanna mentioned, we have a conflict management for supervisors, so hopefully the managers and supervisors can come. That's for internal staff conflict. Um, and then, bless you. And then uh, on February 17th for staff, we're going to have one on de-escalation tactics. So that's going to help them figure out how to handle patrons that might be not so nice to them, that um, might just try to de-escalate the situation a bit. So they're not uh, super fun topics, but they are important, so we're excited about that. Okay, other things, other things. Uh, Cecilia wanted me to pass along just some recommendations for trustees. So y'all were talking about this earlier, but attending board meetings and committee meetings. So that's great that you're ready for committees. Mm -hmm. um, and she's just mentioned attendance is crucial for continuity. And then it sounds like a lot of you guys are registered or you're working through the trustee certification program. So that's awesome. Thank you for doing that. She did want me to pass around. We have a board appointment form with everyone's information, but we're missing a couple items just because we have new people on on the board. So I'm gonna pass this around and when you see your name, just fill in whatever's missing. That would be great. Thank you so much. Okay, other things. So she wanted me to mention bylaws that you might want to consider including, and it was mentioned by one of our observers, is having a public comment section put into the bylaws to address how you're gonna handle that so it doesn't get out of control and it's more structured. So you could choose to have them speak in the beginning or wait till the end, and then setting a time limit. I know for Montgomery County where I live, at the commissioner's meeting, I think you have three minutes to talk and that's, that's pretty much it. So keep that in mind. And she did mention, and, and we have these, we have examples we can, we can share if you like it. Okay, so something we've been thinking about recently and we've been encouraging library boards to adapt is a yearly calendar to kind of get your head on straight of what's coming up and what needs to be done. So I'm gonna pass around this example. This is from Anderson County in East Tennessee and it just lays out month by month what's going on and what the board needs to hopefully be doing. So take a look at that. If you want it in a, we can email it to you, mm -hmm. but it's just an example. You, you want it? Okay, cool. That'd be great. So uh, feel free to check this out. Yeah, Anderson County? Cool. <laughs> Which is Clinton? No, Lexington. Oh, Oak Ridge. Oh, Oak Ridge. Oh, Ridge. National okay. Lab. Yeah. Okay. Secret City. Secret City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, board chair roundtables. We have roundtables for all the board chairs in our region. So, Jackie. That is it's in February. Chair. February 13th, uh -huh. just in time for Valentine's I have, Day. I had gotten the email on that. Yeah, so. And, I, and it's online. I mean, it's yeah. a Zoom meeting. Mm. And, uh, yeah, so it's just a time to get the board chairs together and talk with them about different topics that we think are important. Uh, so the meeting on February is going to be all about finances. So the board's fiduciary responsibility. Um, do I'll does, take good notes. Yeah. <laughs> does the board feel like they have a they have a grasp of like budgetary things that are going on with the library? So is your library's budget audited? Just things like that that we're going to discuss for that. Um, okay, continuing. I thought you were gonna ask me something. No, okay, um, I do. <laughs> I was like ready for it, but I do. So I'm. We're pretty excited because um, we have a program at the state library called Core Competencies, and it's I think 28 online modules that staff can take to help them kind of understand kind of have a base foundation about libraries and how to work in them because it is quite unique. It's not really like any other job. So if you don't have a formal education in libraries, it's um, it's just good to kind of get an understanding and a foundation. So a lot of Sumner County employees 
did all 28 and they have Yay. these fancy mm -hmm. Yay. certificates they what also get libraries is completely done already though which one Hendersonville. Right. Westmoreland and Hendersonville. Right on. Actually, <laughs> no. I know your employee is going to have to be a person. Oh. All my employees have to be a person. Oh, Lauren. <laughs> so they get a certificate, but they also get this fancy pin that says they're a certified public library staff. So it's pretty cool. They get a lot of CE credits, so we're pumped about that. And thank you to the directors for pushing that on your li your library staff and making it available. Yeah, and I think at the end of the day, it's for the good. It just speaks so, well of the staff yes. that's willing to do that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. It does. It was a really good Thank you, thank you. Okay, so uh, that's it from me, but uh, yeah, I sometimes, I will say this to you before I wrap up, so obviously Cecilia's in Norway, so when she's not here, I come as her proxy, but if something's going on or I have something to report to the board, you'll see me here with her. But um, yeah, but I'm Caitlin. It's nice to meet all you. I know you, Diane, but, <laughs> um, but still wave to you. But yeah, so nice to meet you all, and I'm here if you need me. Yeah. Caitlin and Cecilia make a great team, and they are oh, so thanks. supportive. Oh, thanks. I'm going to tell her that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, under other new issues, um, as I said, it was supposed to be Christmas present, but I knew about it a little bit early, but I will be gone. And we're flying back on the day of the March meeting, so I don't think we're going to land in Nashville in time for me to get here. Um, and also, our, one of our options are to change the date of the meeting. And that's, I mean, they've already advertised, but that's just call and say, please change the date. It's already advertised. And we can do that. We can delay it a week. We can delay it a day. Whatever. Or the secretary would have to be the one to chair the meeting if I'm not here. So, um, what do you think? <coughs> And all. So if it, you know, if it messes up your schedules, you know, when you look at um, March, I think it's March the 8th, mm -hmm. you know, it's, the, it's, I know it's hard to mess up schedules. So, Betsy, and I will be gone from the end of February, like the 27th, 26th, 27th through the 8th. So I will try, I can email agendas or whatever. When spring break? Spring break is the following week. Yes, uh, for Sumner so County. Yeah, yeah. So, so if we so change I, it, we couldn't. If we could. I, I mean, it's I would say keep it. Otherwise, you're going to get into spring break the next okay. week. It's better to keep it as is okay. for continuity purposes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Betsy, I can get an, an agenda out before I leave, yes, and please. then. They can send reports if they, I don't think I'm get them that early, probably yeah. can send them and then get the reports out before I leave. And uh, then you can chair the meeting. So, and by the want all that that we gave you, I wasn't sure. Um, you yeah. want less? Which I'll feed back Yeah, what do you want? Yeah. Oh, because yeah. okay. I loved it. Yeah. I just, I just 24 did. hours advance, I'm going, I okay. don't have enough. I don't, yeah. And, and, and five. some of it. Um, we can't necessarily turn around and give to you like the new month because we don't have all the information for stats to fill mm -hmm. in. So like some of that was printed last night because we didn't have like wireless usage, which is one of the things. Mm -hmm. So um, so some of that information can't be turned around like at the first of the month or whatever. Depending on what it is. So, so we can give you what we have. We can give you what we have. Yeah. Give you yeah. What we have. yeah. Something okay. it might have some empty fields. Just yeah. know that. Okay. okay. Well, and, and then you can bring you up it's if you feel you need to, yeah. you know, some of it you don't, if you don't think it's appropriate, you know, if it's not something we need to discuss or whatever, just we can just go with what we have. Well, and I was just going to say, even if we had 95% of it and yeah, sure. then the 25% was 24 hours ahead of time, sure. instead of reading it all. Twenty-four hours ahead of time. Because that'll look at the pretty stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put in the budget, I'm like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I can do it. And it's okay. it's really nice to know what kind of an outreach there is in the community and what kind of feedback you're getting. And we need to, um, you know, 
I like the positive. You know, the negative is real easy for people like to look at, but when you see the positive, you just know. It's a good thing. Okay. Um, so we'll leave the day, and Betsy. Wait, I'm sorry. Do you want us to email our these kind of reports to the whole board or to Jackie to distribute to the whole board? We're going to send it to the whole board. Yeah. 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 If you want to do that, as soon as you have, yeah. yeah. That was just, I just, I literally just seen this in the past that was stepping on toes. Everything yeah. was supposed to go through the chairperson. Oh, yeah. But if she's okay with it, we I'm will just do a mass. I can also she doesn't have teaches, to do that. Yeah, and IT can create an email for library board and managers, like a group email. So you don't mm -hmm. have to type 11, 16 emails. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah, so I, I know Gabby's my go to tech mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I'll say, How do I do you know, What do I need to do here? You. But, but yeah, oh, Gabby can be that. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and if you all want to decide, like you all send it at the same time or send it when you get it ready or whatever. It's fine for me. Okay. All right. So we'll leave that. Okay. Um, I have a couple of questions. The future of the library system, now that we've gotten the emergency stuff, do you want to have a roundtable discussion on that before we vote on anything? Or did you? I think, I mean, I'm okay with us. I brought a presentation, we can talk about it, and then we can vote on it tonight. I just want to say that 25, 30 years ago, and this is information that I got from the commission, is that when the libraries were much, much smaller, they were supported in whole pretty much by the city that they were in. As the libraries grew and the county and the cities grew, the county decided that they would support the libraries from the majority for the majority of the funding that was necessary and there was some criteria that was put together um, that was an agreement with between the libraries and the county and that agreement was was that the libraries would stay as five independent libraries each library would have a director and those directors would be responsible for, for all of the tasks, much like running your own business. When the okay. library system was created, there was there was some issues that were mentioned that um, this was going to be a benefit, or this is why we had to do this. And some of those were not true. Um, the and, and consequently, when the system was formed, the county could have decided to stop all funding for the libraries because basically we broke our contract with the county. So we need to get back to that agreement, um, in my opinion, and that's certainly something that this board needs to vote on. There are certain things that, like the library patrons can use any library. You don't have to be a system for that. We could have done that years ago, and it can still continue. The directors still need to work together. You don't have to be a system in order to work together. Um, you, you can share your resources. Um, we got a lot of shelving one time from Gallatin, and then we gave furniture. Hendersonville gave furniture to Westmoreland. So those things are all possible and should be happening irregardless if we're five independent libraries or we are um, a system. We need to be a co-op where we work together, but those libraries in the agreement that was still in place with the county for them to give us funding said that we would remain five independent libraries. I guess I'm, I'm confused why uh, the county is it, I guess I'm just confused what, it sounds like everything you want to keep in place is what library systems across the state do. So I guess I'm not sure what the hang-up is about just calling you guys a system. And that was a recommendation that you right. both made to right. us sure. that this yeah. is a step that we needed to take. And yeah. that was the final. So there has to be some type of... It's just difficult with one board to govern five independent libraries. But that's the way it is here. Right. I guess I'm just wondering why it couldn't be different. So, so I'm new to all this, yeah. and I've been looking into this the last few months, and I went through my little orientation and, and did all yeah. that and just kind of learning here. And then even tonight, 
yeah. with money being set in the system that they need that is sitting here that honestly they could have had in their budgets mm -hmm. without all this stuff and then they could have more money to do what they need to do instead of doing a system and doing an executive director, a outreach leader, and a bookkeeper. bookkeeper. Okay. So, which, um, to my knowledge, in all the people that I spoke to and, and everything, the, the things were running fine, you know, and then a system came in and money was pulled from the library systems to create this. Mm -hmm. and, and then also, you know, ink and money and all the stuff that they need now has to come through the system thing. And, and, and in my opinion, it complicates things. And I believe, like, like they're needing money. Let's give the money back to them, go back to the way it was before. There's five directors. We don't need the executive director. Then also, they're able to talk, talk with us directly mm -hmm. instead of going through an executive director. Then we can uh, do things quicker, and they have full authority over, over their libraries. Um, so, in my opinion, dissolving the system and going back gives them more authority, gives them more money, and gives them more... Um, ability autonomy. to take care autonomy to take care of their stuff and and also what I learned was you know there's those level one through fives mm -hmm. and stuff like that mm -hmm. and and when they became a system now everyone has to do five and and I'm like well you know there's some libraries that can't do fives and although it's, it's not mandatory it's I totally not. get it mm -hmm. I totally get it but I've been around long enough to go, just because it's not mandatory doesn't mean that they don't say, hey, you kind of need to get up here. Okay. So, well, if one, I, I want to take that fulfills, stress, I'm sorry to, to I take that you. stress off of the yeah. other. It the doesn't other does does stress, because if one library, say Hendersonville, fulfills, fulfills it. it, it fulfills it for the entire group. Correct. So, if Hendersonville, it's technically the only level five, but there was something that they were not fulfilling as a level five, but say Portland was building as a, what, a level three? And then that fulfills it for Hendersonville, and it fulfills it for everyone, so it's not putting stress on me, a level two, who gets z minimal funding, where it doesn't put stress on me because somebody else in the system is fulfilling it, and we still get the benefit of working together. Mm -hmm. And we still get the benefit of being level five and having level five funding. Sure. Yeah. The biggest issue is that when the system was created, the county was not going to fund it. They said numerous times in numerous meetings, the chairman of the budget committee at the time, which was Chris Taylor and David Loin, came to multiple meetings and said, we are not going to give the libraries any more money at all. And other than annually, you might get a 3% or 4% increase. When the board was pressured, basically, into voting for the system, you approved a plan that was going to hire an executive director, mm -hmm. and in the plan was to hire three more full-time people. Okay, the fourth person, which was a courier, never happened. But now you were going to support three new full-time people, and you had no funding. No funding at all. Mm -hmm. And these libraries were running very successfully before and I think the board should have been more active, and that's what the commission has said, mm -hmm. is that the board needs to be much more active. Now we have these committees, and, and we're going to be basically committed to ourselves to, and to the directors to be very active, to support the library. Can I ask this real quick? So, I, because I remember being here when it was all, it was all, uh, when Leah May came and was like, mm -hmm. hey, you got to do this and legally and everything. So, it was incredibly fast, and Cecilia and I were like, oof, this is incredibly fast, but if you guys are going to do it, it felt like to us, like, we're going to decide to do it, and then we'll fig we will just figure it out as we yeah. go, but we feel like we need to do it. So I guess one of my question is, if you do decide to say, hey, this isn't working out, we want to dissolve it, right. is there any possibility of being, I, I guess from my perspective as a, as a state, um, with a state perspective, every K-12 
county that is your size and has multiple branches is just combined mm -hmm. and that's how we see it and it's just like a industry norm I guess to say for libraries um, and there's always an executive director and there's branch managers and for us we just feel like that's the mo co most cohesive way for the end user which is a Sumner County citizens so if you do decide to say not right now let's would you be open like the I think that depends future on the to bring it up it. at all okay what uh, to what okay. so future, in what? the future would would be open to would what? you be open to possibly down the road when you can get your ducks in a row and feel like it's more organized or put together would you be open to becoming a system because I don't think being a system is is bad at all at, at all but it's but if it's not working for you then I certainly don't think you should keep doing it if it's not working can I, sure can yeah I, for sure um, I think my thing personally is our, our libraries are not branches they have always been standalone awesome yeah. institutions mm -hmm. and um, I guess that's one of the things that I want personally to see is these folks have a chance to have their library even though we'll all be working together we'll have our committees I don't mind calling a system or whatever you want to say mm -hmm. but what we had to deal with tonight, we wouldn't have had to deal with if every one of these folks had their own budget and they had mm -hmm. the autonomy, the authority to just say, right. I got this person and I got that right. person. Right, but I think in a, in a functioning and like a fully formed system where you can have it all organized, it works very well. It's efficient. It's very efficient. I just really feel that an executive director, a bookkeeper, and an outreach is, um, you know, the what I found is the libraries were working fine beforehand. Mm -hmm. And um, creating three other positions and bringing money, taking money from the libraries mm -hmm. um, that were already functioning and doing well mm -hmm. and were, were, were doing good. Um, pulling money from them, so now they have to, you know, get more grants, get more funding sure, to replace yeah. that. Yeah. Um, for a um, a position that, in my opinion, and what I found is not extremely needed. Mm -hmm. um, and now that you have a board, I don't know what the board was. I'm just going with what other people saying that. I guess the last board wasn't really involved. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm please. I'm not judging. No, yeah, what I've heard. Sure. Yeah. Um, but. We're involved. Yeah, we're here. Yeah. we 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 about to meet every month now. Okay, so um, so what I'm saying is that I think that dissolving the system, going because we're not ten years in, we're a year and a half in, and it doesn't seem to be functioning very well. And April left, and I think the outreach leader left too, and mm -hmm. so. We have one person. I am going to do a rule, and I'm I'm speaking for all five of us. I know that, and I'm speaking for the entire finance department, and I'm speaking for the commissioners. And what they have asked of us is to have more employees with boots on the ground, in the front, waiting on people, getting to know our community, and serving them. And we cannot do that if we are stuck staring in a closet in the second floor doing paperwork and paying our own bills and coding stuff. Um, we don't care about the system. None no, of us are going to do that. We're, we don't care. We're always going to work together. We always have. We enjoy what we do. But to make our jobs possible and for us to do our best, we need a bookkeeper to serve all five of us. Hey, Gabby, so, you don't. It's not a full-time job. That's your I did it. That's what you're building. building. I did it, and I ran the largest library in Sumner County. Did you work the desk every day? I'm sorry. And it only took a few hours to do that, and that was also reconciling several grants at one time. And as a director, you need to take ownership for your library. You will be given back your ownership. You will have the authority, and you will run it like your own business. I can tell you that Hendersonville, for example, in this new fiscal year, lost $73,000 in full-time help. They lost Gallatin, you lost $22,000. I didn't lose it, I gave it up. We didn't need it, we did a needs assessment because I'm there every day. 
and I knew what we needed, and I knew we did not need those full-time employees to do the jobs they were being paid for. Well, that's fine. Then we'll give that money to somebody, to another library that does. Um, but you do not need somebody doing your work. And the county is not funding these positions, Gabby. They're not. They've said that numerous times. The agreement with the libraries and the county for the county to provide funding was that the five libraries would stay together. Uh, Diane, what I'm hearing them say is that if they have a bookkeeper that can keep them in line, work with the finance department, make sure all of these lines and transfers are done correctly, that is a valuable asset. I think you can have that position without having a system because at one time we had an IT person that worked for all the libraries right, but came from Hendersonville. Right. So I think that is a position that can stay either way. Even and I think it's... Lying around. Yes. But to stay into a system lying around. We can right, you, you move it right. into... Yeah. Because the IT person the was paid... Position. So can I have that position back? Can we make that, if that's the if problem, just I gave up that full-time person and I took on some, I'm on the floor because I gave up a floor person. You'll have so more money. That's more important. So, so you'll if have more we money. did that, you, can, you, can you could have somebody. that person back, but that person could work for everybody so that all of, yeah. that you meet the finance, I mean, you know, you jump through their hoops, you do the paperwork like they want it done. And... I know from being one of 43 libraries when I had to do budgets and make sure I was, I worked very closely with the bookkeeper, but I also had to have the school board finance person on my speed dial so that I was doing it right. Your school bookkeeper, she can work like that. And because we've done it before, we paid one position, that's not a stretch. I think that could... You know, we give that position back, and she can become that person. But the way that we were paying that person was because money was taken, full-time money was taken from the libraries. That bookkeeper position should not require full-time. I mean, you can get your, in, the largest library can get their invoices done in three hours, and some weeks you don't even have to spend that. And you take that times five, you could, you could have, have a part-time person. But your IT person was full-time, paid from Hendersonville's budget. Yeah, the IT person was. But they worked the whole county. Right, they did, well, because they traveled. Yeah. And all. But... Hold on a second. Do you have something to say? I just... I mean, this is a bone of contention, I understand, and it's this, what I'm going to say probably won't make a lick of difference, but I just I have to share this. Because Susan is our bookkeeper I was able to meet our patrons and I was able to make connections I was able to meet them and I was able to meet a woman that came to our homeschool program with her children and then when it got really bad at home she was able to come to me and we spent hours in my office finding a safe place for a domestic abuse victim because Susan was able to do those things. I could get her the bills and I could save a woman and her family. I had our children's library and take care of her children while we were, I was searching for places for her. She was on the phone for hours in my office. If I didn't have Susan to help me, I don't know what would have happened to that woman and her children. And I know that that's, that is probably an, an extreme example that no, it's, not, most, it's, an everyday it's an everyday occurrence for us. And how would we know how to help our people? That's why we are in libraries. I know I'm not an emotional person, but domestic violence is not something anybody should not have an ally. And that's what the libraries are. And she allows us to be the ally to the community members that their husbands take their cell phones away that remove their gas. Okay. I, 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 know I, it I appreciate I appreciate you doing and and, and you know uh, and I understand domestic abuse Please. and I get Please. it. Please. So no. but and and I am not saying that 
you know, you guys are five, you're new, all this stuff. For years, the directors did their own invoices for years. For years, they did it. And you guys would now get money back into your budget that you could hire somebody to help, okay? So, um, and, and being a director and, and all this stuff, if you're dealing with the community, you don't know what's going to come at you. And that sucks. That's just, that's being in the community. Um, and... Um, what, you know, I, I don't know if we could entertain in the sense of, you know, we dissolve the system and maybe Susan is in place for two months while we're doing training and helping and figuring out how it goes. I mean, we could look at something like that, but um, this system's only been in place for a year and a half. This is not something that is that is so so embedded that that we're like that was like ages ago. I can't believe I don't know how how did the libraries we did it incorrectly. Okay. Well, they didn't seem to be running it incorrectly. Ask finance. They were. Well, then, then you, you just ahead. need to be properly Go trained, ahead. Beverly. Okay. And they will come and train you. I think Ms. Daniel makes a good point. I think you do as well, Ms. Johnson. And I, and I don't think anyone here is trying to be informative or difficult, right? And I think the board is going to do what it's going to do. So um, please don't misunderstand it, right? Um, no. um, and I, I don't think that you can't do both. Right? I don't think you can. I think you can still undo the system if that's what you choose to do. Right? And I think, as you're saying, we can delay anything that involves Susan, I do think there's a benefit, and maybe a roundtable discussion to kind of flush some of those things out might That's change people's minds, or might not, right? Mm -hmm. um, I know that when we're talking about money, it can be emotional at times, right? So, and there's no intent to be um, difficult. I, I would just say, I would I would ask that you would not act on David and Susan's position tonight, and that we just have some more discussion on it. That's all I would mm -hmm. uh, ask. I pretty much agree with what he's saying, but see, they had Jim Young that was paid by mm -hmm. the county mayor, I right. guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really think this needs, I know some people need to go, and I think we really need to sit down and talk about this and look at this. I, I don't I don't want to well, vote on something saying, quickly. Is that we get rid of, the, I don't have a problem with us getting rid of the system, but keeping Susan, like Susan, I yeah. do want to say Sylvia or something, I don't know why. Um, Susan, you know, for for at least, say, the next two, like, four months while we do the round table, mm -hmm. we can bring this back in March. But I'm just saying maybe her, and we look at her maybe replacing Jim Young. Is that what you're kind of saying? Well, they did not do the same function. No. Oh, Jim, Jim, Young. What Jim no. Young. What Jim Young did, the budget committee will now do on the yeah. board. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm gonna so he was the disagree. liaison, is what I'm saying, and they're asking for a liaison. And I think if I don't think they're asking for that. No. I think they're asking, they're asking for somebody to do their, their budget. Work. No. That's what they're asking. No. Yeah. She is our yeah. liaison for finance. She makes sure we all do everything the same way, the way finance wants it to. She just double checks everything we do. And it's come we submit it. our bills to her. She helps us code them correctly. This is going too fast. Yeah. Which is what the directors always did. Yeah. They paid their own invoices and they coded them. We feel it's more important to be on the ground. So, uh, the community. Okay. Personality. so how about, if, what if we did this? We dissolve the system so that way we don't have an executive director. We don't have an outreach um, coordinator. We keep Susan on, okay? We don't vote on getting rid of Susan yet. That we have a round table about this. And we get input from you guys, and we and then we decide on Susan um, after we after we do the discussion. I just remember something. Okay, Joanna, do you care sure. to say it? <clears throat> so I so when back in I'm trying to think when this was July maybe you guys were it was a system full out everything and then uh, April applied for what is it called a technology grant the state library and archives and she applied as one as mm -hmm. a Sumner County Library System mm -hmm. so that's what she did and 
I'm trying to think what will happen because they haven't. I don't know what the re, when is the that money coming through. So it, the the term for the grant started October first, twenty twenty two, and it ends May thirty first, twenty three. Right. So I'm trying to figure out. I can tell you what they've told me so far. Okay. David has said that um, because everybody that had originally signed the tech grant yeah. is gone. Yeah. That now we need the five of us, the chairperson for the board, and the new mayor to sign it. to sign to initial it. We don't even okay. have to do it. They just have to sign it there. Good, because okay. I don't um, lose that money. But it also has to go back through finance and. The prices have changed. It's it is. So well, I'm not we're running out of time. Well, I'm not saying that. I don't. I I guess what I'm saying is I don't know how it would affect if the system were dissolved. Um, because there's a contract in place, so I'm just not sure. I'd have to double right. check, That's but I just cool. thought of it, so yeah. I just wanted to mention it before you. Well, why don't you double check? I will. If, if I we will. don't, okay. we're not what going I'm to be hiring. Huh? What I'm hearing is that it, we're not under the gun either way. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not like, yeah, you know, they're going to come in and shut us down either way because they're not. Right. You know, we're going to exist. Why don't we table this, wait until we've done some research and we've done some di discussion. I have a question. If we, if we dissolve the library system while that money is in a system account, mm -hmm. where does it go? Well, it needs to get out of there. So we, we can't dissolve, dissolve this system until we make all those transfers to get that money where it goes. So we almost have to table this. Right, and that's fine. We're just and not I, gonna rehire an executive director. No, We're not gonna rehire an that's not even coordinator. On, that's not even on the okay. table. And even if we did agree to kind of if agree we need to, to let it go the rest of this fiscal year, well, that, depending want, on the grant, Yeah, but, but you can't leave that money in that system no, account because no. And it can get it's transferred got to be out. used. It's got to be used for okay. you know. Well, we have to. So use I it to think what we, so then right. I, the, I guess then then my big thing is that um, is I'll put that, it. We can put it on the agenda for March. Yes, right. and that there's no, but there's no executive. That we're not going to rehire no, anybody. No, that's it. Hasn't been posted. Okay. okay. We have that to discuss that. Process. We would okay. be the people yeah. that would interview them. And not personnel. personnel wouldn't. This would be an entire board yes, interview yeah. for an exact. So no, it's not on the table. No, it's not being discussed. No. So we can table this because we've got to address that money. Because right. if we dissolve the system, and that's MOE money that has to be addressed. Right. Mm -hmm. So one step at a time yeah. in okay. order to do this. So yeah. my, my clarifying question here. Is that the money that is in the system right now? Okay, that's just sitting there. Right. We could vote tonight to put it where it belongs if we wanted to. Okay. I mean, the commission has asked us to do that. We could vote to send it to all these transfers that they've asked for, and the money, you know, and then they could do a needs assessment. That money has to be used. So Susan could go back to Gallatin, and but. If IT did it for the whole county, she could still book, be the bookkeeper, which is what the boots on the ground okay. seem to want. And what the boots on the ground, Laura needs, they're growing by leaps and bounds. She needs a new description of a children's library to go maybe from part-time to full-time. Mm -hmm. You know, we could approve all of those transfers, get that money where it needs to go, and then, once we've done that, then we can talk about the future of the system. But no, we don't. We've not advertised. Okay. You know, that's yeah. up to us. We don't. But have the money to you're talking about is the money that budget committee was going to take a look at to see where the money goes. Is that correct? Right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's the one that's in okay. that system account. Right. And I'm just asking that the budget committee have a chance to look at all those transfers, to study the current budgets that okay. are out there. Um, get current updated ones. Right. The salary, the budget that's out there online, it includes the 4%, but it does not include the salary adjustments that were made after this budget. So I want to get And after copies. you look at that, and that is kind of settled, mm -hmm. 
then once that budget money goes back into their account, right. we don't involve ourselves in the day-to-day -day activities. It's theirs, right. and they right. do what That's they want right. to with it. Right. So once that all of those transfers are approved and looked at in May, once they get it, then we just look at a yearly budget. For we help them put their budgets together, right. and we may review mm -hmm. how they're doing quarterly. But it's up to and them they on a day-to-day -day. quarterly. Right, it's up anyway. to them to to run their libraries like it's their own business. And all. Yeah. Really quickly, I know it's really, really late. One, if you did transfer some of the money back, it would all but ensure that we couldn't hire an executive director and a new yes. person um, right. for the rest of the year because so, that money would be gone. Right. Second, the other thing I just would like you to consider, and I don't think, if you wait till March, you meet after the budget committee meets. So that means it probably won't make the commission meeting in time until April. And April really is difficult then to spend a lot of that money. Because the, and the only when is the budget time, meeting? The budget meeting normally meets the Monday, Monday, and you normally meet on a Wednesday. Okay, right. so it's hold on a second. So it would be the Monday of March. It, it would be the, you normally yeah, follow March the budget meeting and the way the cycle works. Okay, okay. March. So okay, so my question is: is can we do a special called meeting in February before the budget committee meets? Yes. So that we can and budget committee and budget committee should have already met and got this all sent to us. So can we do a special so that we can look at the transfers before it goes to the commission and budget committee in March? Did I get that right? Yes. Okay. So I have a calendar. That somewhere way, along all this stuff, we, we can, can take a look at the day. budget committee. That exactly. way, you're not waiting until what? Because you're probably no. It's just. It's just finance likes us to wrap up things so that they're getting close up their budget. So we often, in our back of our mind, know that April is really the last. We should yeah. be spending the majority of our money. Okay. Our yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that's all. Okay. And some of those things okay. are hard to do because we have to wait on companies. And that, like, for example, I ordered late in April this last year. And some of that didn't hit till July or August. Right? Okay. Gotcha. Um, so are you guys good for doing a special call meeting yeah. um, before the... Commissioner budget meeting in March. So the and, and budget committee then who's on budget committee then? You got you you, you three and mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Else. Um and then is that a the discussion, yeah. the discussion meeting or in addition to the in addition? Well yeah. the budget committee's gonna have to meet before we do the special call meeting. Because we okay. need to work through Correct. all these transfers. So what we can do is um, can would the um, would the budget committee be able to meet before our February meeting so you guys can bring stuff to us so yes. we can kind of discuss it yeah. and then we can do and then we can do any adjustments in a special called meeting like a week or two later. Does that sound, do, do so you, 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 what you need that? to do is set a date tonight. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And what time. you need to do is let me know so I can get it advertised. Okay. And um Okay. What in if, fact, we probably you probably need to set a couple of days. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Okay. So right now we're meeting February eighth, right, for the right. roundtable because right. that's the second Wednesday. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about um, March first for okay. the the special called meeting? I'm thinking or we're going to be done before. The I'm meeting. thinking somebody sorry, needs sorry, to sorry, meet in January. What? Somebody needs to meet. Oh no no no! That, that's that's for the budget committee to decide. And they're gonna, they're going to meet. Yeah, but they, they still. You still have to advertise it. I get as it, an but they meeting. but they can decide what date that is. Because isn't there a fourth her. person? Yeah, in the but budget you've committee? got to come. You've got to tell no. me. Okay. Well, okay. Got it. Okay. So so I'm just talking about the special call meeting right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, what about February twenty second? If they meet before that, we could just do it on the eighth. You could change the meeting on we the eighth. We can't because that's going to be the round table. I know, but we could. Can can't change we it. just change yeah. it to a special call meeting? Okay, that only gives them two weeks to get everything together. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
That yeah. takes two <laughs> weeks. Amazing. And I, my suggestion was for them to meet, and then even at mm-hmm. the roundtable, we can discuss some things, some possibility. Yeah. And then we do a special called meeting to do any voting. Okay. okay. The only thing I want to tell you is that the the budget, the county budget committee is expecting us to come with information at their February meeting. About what? These transfers. Okay. About okay. which transfers? Because we just approved the one. Yeah. Yeah. All these other transfers that are in this packet. We can okay. tell them we're still holding because we already have formed the committees and just yeah, wait for the next month. Yeah, yeah. So we can, that can be the report. So, yeah, yeah, just say, hey, just a quick we just got the committees together. I mean, this is literally our, our yeah. second yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. um, Okay, so February 22nd. Which is a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. Okay, and what are we doing on the 22nd? That is where we're going to vote on these budget transfers okay. so that it can go to the commissioners the following month, the following Monday. Coming. That's your budget committee meeting you're setting up there. No. 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 That's, That's a special, special call. call for everybody. Yes. That's a special okay. call meeting. Because the budget She's going to have to give March you your date on the budget. Correct? That's the first Monday? Is that yes. right? First right. Monday? First Monday? Yes. Okay. So the budget the committee is going Monday. to have the meeting. Oh, it's the second Monday. Yeah, second Monday. Yeah. This second yeah. Monday. Okay. So oh, yeah, because yeah. that's committee on committee meetings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so then we could do we could do February 22nd or March. And what time first? Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. We meet March 8th. Mm-hmm. So we can vote on March 8th right. if it goes to budget the March 13th. Yeah. Right. You meet before the budget committee? Yeah, because it happens to be that yeah. March has two Wednesdays before, before the budget. The, yeah. mm-hmm. Problem solved. Okay, so we can, we <laughs> we can have do a special call. Okay. March 8th. Okay. What? Instead of the Problem one. solved. So no special call meeting? No, we don't need a special no. call meeting okay. because March 8th is our meeting. Right. Okay. And they don't meet till March 13th yeah. because the second Monday. Us. Yeah. So is the 13th. And March 8th is just a normal board meeting. Yeah, right. 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 Schedule. That's yep. scheduled. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what, it just happened to work out calendar wise. But the budget yeah. committee is going to have to meet one or two times before all of that mm-hmm. to work through all these changes. So okay, hold on one second. Yeah. And you're talking about the library budget committee. The library budget <laughs> committee. I keep going back and forth. In my I, I have a question because that is spring break. Are you sure that the 13th is? Is the budget meeting? Yeah. yeah. Can somebody go on the commissioners and make sure they that have the commissioners don't care about spring break? No, mm-hmm. they don't go on spring break. Mm-hmm. They cared about mm-hmm. Halloween this year. Thanksgiving. Um, so, <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> yeah. so okay, all right. If anything changes, we can call a special call meeting. But hallelujah, we only <laughs> have to have another one. Okay. Okay. Um, I have one more thing, and that posting of the minutes. Susie, do you do that or? I've never posted the minutes. Okay, so yeah. Um, typically, I think I, I'm gonna get the emails and send it to Robert Tuttle. Okay. Or you can send it directly to Robert. I can. Tuttle. I see Tuttle every day. Yes. So. He's the one okay. that will put it on the website. Okay. 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 Robert, Tuttle. and he'll be able to post the ones that are not on there. Currently, correct? I think there is a years. July, yeah. I think, and then That's November true. is not on there yet. Yeah. Um, so there's there's a few correct. that have I think there's even yeah. like November of 2021 is not there. And then there's some, a lot of them are missing yeah. for 2022. Okay. There were some that Jane Wheatcraft, because she was the secretary, and uh-huh. she was hard hearing and not real techie. And um, we struggled for a little while mm-hmm. until then I come along. <laughs> Thank you. I'm new. Yay. Yay. Newer. You know. but, Thank you. But if you email them, if you send them to Robert, <laughs> you can, if we yes. want to get together for these bylaws, I'll just let you know and you can advertise it so mm-hmm. we can get started on I that. I can email okay. Chris mm-hmm. and have him post okay. it. Well, I'm or talk to them and then we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll put together that. Eight. For that, mm-hmm. just like budget let you know. Update with you and but we won't get into it tonight. <laughs> no, <laughs> we won't get into it tonight. <laughs> okay, I think we have checked all the boxes. Uh, I'm a little cross-eyed right now, and 
Anita's gonna Anita's gonna take care of me in the morning. Oh, oh, really, really quickly. So we we decided on the budget, the transfers, all the stuff, and then um, but we're gonna vote on the system next March. But we're not going to hire anybody in the. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. All right. We're not even gonna post the job. I mean, okay. um, no. Okay. You know that would have to be right. something that we would have okay. to do anyway. So no, we don't. We're waiting to get in here. It's been there for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not. It's the little bit. Oh, yeah. It's so sad. Or I'll call you. Oh, yeah. We have to vote to adjourn. We have to vote to adjourn. We got it. Who's going to find? I got that part. We got it. 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 We I want to be all the blood. I want to help you. I mean, I gotta call this guy. Oh, the way Oh, yeah. I got a text or two. I got a text or two. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay.